Hi everybody. Um, welcome to <laughs> welcome back to Los Angeles 2119, where apparently we uh, chat right up until the green light goes on. So how's everybody doing? Wonderful. Good. Yes. Real good. Kind of a scramble. I, um, we have some announcements tonight. Uh, before we jump into our futuristic cyberpunk superhero stuff. Um, so the big announcements are, first of all, we are sponsored this week by Sona. Woo! Woo! It's kind of a, kind of a, 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 how should I describe, a sci-fi show that we oh. have on Alpha. Um, yes. um, I like a bit of sci-fi. So let me give you the premise. Uh, Sona, forced to choose between her alien husband and a home planet, a United Earth Space Corps officer has no option but betrayal. Creator Ashley Clemens stars as Lieutenant Balin Sona in the psychological sci-fi study of mental health, immigration, and loss. Use the code SPACE for 60 free days on Alpha. That's a tough choice. Yeah, that's a tough choice. Um, Ashley and I bonded at Comic-Con, never mind th that I have a shameless love of Jane Austen, which she did brilliantly with. Uh, her previous Lizzie project, Bennett. Lizzie Bennett. Yep. Was she? Lizzie oh. mm -hmm. I didn't know she said um, that. That's a but, great scene. Uh, also, um, she is a dyed-in-the-wool hardcore Trekkie. Yeah, of course. Yay! Of course, so, of course she um, is. And when she found out, I was, she was like, uh, you have a Star Trek show? And I was like, well, I had. It ended last week. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's never Sorry. ending in our hearts. It's true. No, mm -hmm. technically it's a 30-year gap, so hey, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Um, um, cool. uh, next one, next announcement. Uh, Monty Cook is having a sale on their digital products. Um, everything except for Numenera and The Strange, but 25% off of everything in their store uh, for digital download. Uh, and that is to get that t discount, you need to use the code Callisto6. How about them apples? What? Yeah. They gave us a code? Yeah. yeah. So we don't know what is Callisto 6. It's a coupon code. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn it. This it's whole cool. time. Wait, <laughs> that hoodie is awesome. No. <laughs> how, much per, how much percent off? 25%. Uh, wow. So this is nice. That's nice. The, the, I love everything that they've got on that store. You guys know I'm kind of a Cypher fanboy, but I, I also just recommend checking out Predation. We were looking at Predation really hard oh, before yeah. we came up yeah. with our own world. We were really leaning into doing a Predation game. We spent uh, about three, four million dollars in pre-pro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We were like, we gotta get Cost a lot change. of we gotta <laughs> dinosaurs, we gotta do the whole thing. Yeah. Yep. That was a dinosaur yeah. and a half, and then we were like, man, that's yeah. it. We can't. Mm -hmm. That's can't. Look, <laughs> yeah. but we still got that one dinosaur back in the bullpen. That's true. Oh, are we not oh. supposed to? Spoilers. That's, a, that's a geek and sundry no. secret. You weren't supposed to say that. We can that. only talk about the half dinosaur. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Which, we, like, we can find right the other right half right. of that dinosaur yeah. in the refrigerator. Yeah. Oh, boy. After the show. It's real good. Um, okay. Oh my God. The last big announcement. The last big announcement for the night. We have merch in the store. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have merch in the store. Yeah, this is, I haven't this seen is, it. I haven't, uh, I, so it's a hat. We've got a hat with the Callisto 6 logo on it, and what we've got a shirt hat? with our character portraits on it. It's a ball cap. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just phase one of the merch. We just wanted to get something out there because we've been getting a lot of questions about merch, and so we wanted to get something to you guys as quickly as possible. I am gonna be getting yes. myself a ball cap personally because I, yes. lo I love our logo. Yeah, it's yeah. super cool. I yeah. love our logo. I'm getting the I love you, man. Yay! Um, okay. Uh, that's it for my announcements. Ooh. I yes, have one really, Bonnie. I have one yes. really, really quick. Okay, yes. No, 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 no. It's, it's, um, in case you didn't know, uh, this past Tuesday, you can watch it on Alpha if you missed it. But Good Fortnite Kevin Yay! is uh, a season two, and there's new hosts. Who are they? The Library Bards. <gasps> And so um, <laughs> we didn't rehearse that. <laughs> no, okay. we, we all knew, we all knew, we all knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming. We've all done it. But yeah, yeah, so Good Fortnite, Kevin, season two. The first episode should be up on uh, Alpha, and season two, season two, episode two should be coming out. Uh, wait. Next, next, two, two, no, probably uh, the next Fortnite. Oh, and God. I'm in the yeah. first episode with you guys. Aaron really? is in the first episode. You guys, yeah. you should really watch. It's, it's really it's funny. It's demented. It's perfectly the, uh, demented. The, the thing we do with Eric, it's pretty fun. It's demented. Yeah, <laughs> it's completely. Uh, yeah, I so uh, cats out of the bag. Uh, library bards have taken over Good Fortnite, Kevin. Uh, which is a stroke of genius. But yes, Yay. congratulations. Also, oh, we real have quick, some plans. I, I want to extend some congratulations because I do believe our boy Hector. <gasps> Yes. Has landed himself oh, so a, a pretty sweet gig yes. over at yes. DC. 
Oh my goodness. I wish he liked superheroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tell us about, tell I'm about having, you. Oh, I'm having to do a lot of research. Did y'all know that DC stands for Detective Comics? Wow. What? I know, I'm doing a lot of research because I'm I actually a total noob. That. Did you, what's that? I, I seriously, I swear to God. It's on their comics, though. It's on their comics. I guess the joke oh. sorry, is, that, oh, okay. is that Hector would have already known that, right, but right. I under, but there probably, were probably a lot of people that are like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, I swear to God, I did not know that. very effective joke. Great joke. And fun fact. Yes. Watch Hector and you'll learn more yeah. excellent facts like these. Yeah. yeah. Right now I'm That's being criticized for running a superhero game. Yes, how dare starts, you? It starts, Honestly, um, how dare you? I think it starts September 15th, which is Batman Day. If you are so inclined, if you really like the brand, uh, the intellectual property of DC, which I'm a big fan of, you can uh, sign up for their kind of alpha, which is DC Universe, which is, uh, you know, they're kind of promoting it as is uh, like everything in one sort of a thing, TV shows, movies, comic books. I have so many questions stuff. that you probably yeah. can't legally answer. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Uh, may, uh, yeah, I'm sure, to be continued. People, I'm sure a lot of people have those questions as they come into the store. They're probably asking about it, right? Mm. I think I know some stuff, but I might be able to send you to somebody who know more stuff and more news is coming and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm so excited. Welcome Thank to you guys the Wednesday so Club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Welcome to the Wednesday Club. Our topic. <laughs> right on. Well, I, 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 I think Thank that's you. it for us tonight. Yeah, unless there's any other announcements. Yes, Sam. <clears throat> I'm excited. <gasps> that was the sweetest little that thing ever. <laughs> I like it. Let's go ahead and start tonight's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Um, I, I didn't realize that uh, I Sorry. <laughs> through the entire through the entire announcement segment, I didn't realize that I had my sound effects for our first scene playing. So I hope mm. you all enjoyed oh. the sounds of a harbor. Um, oh. That's oh, the okay. sounds of Raft City. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, to soothe you as you prepare to enter a dark cyberpunk world of superheroes, which is slowly becoming lighter. As you've all noticed, I feel strangely not fuzzy today. Yes. Check that out. Not you guys can see me, people. right? You don't get your. <laughs> 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 yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I did, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Deprogramming, man. Uh, Thirty-eight years of deprogramming takes a while. It's okay. But it's you know who's a good programmer? Who's that? Lacey. <laughs> Roll to deprogram your DM that's difficulty many, is one. That's how many years of programming you have. You look good, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank did nobody you. else catch that? I'm like, what? Yeah. what? I didn't know that. Thirty-eight years of programming over here. Yep. How? Mm -hmm. How Say is it again. Possible? Thirty-eight. What? Yeah. Thirty. Wait. Are we talking about my age? Or are we still in the metaphor of my programming? Uh, no, your age. Your oh, age. thank you. You look yes. very good. Yeah. Oh, you're a handsome fellow. We're oh, complimenting you. your looks. Thank you very much. You? You're dashing thank good for, looks. Thank, thank you for you. translating. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, were you DMing since <laughs> Inception? Inception. <laughs> since I'm that, real loopy today. Since okay. This is happening. I'll ask. I'm adopted. I can ask my birth mom, but I don't think if I ask her, was I was there a dice in my hand? I don't know if she's gonna give me the answer. Um, he came out rolling credits. I was just like, <laughs> you have successfully <laughs> rolled birth. <laughs> Save versus wow. Eric. You rolled. She failed. I was born. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay, everyone. This is our show. All right. That, so. uh, three points of brain damage. <laughs> We're having. We're having trouble starting our game tonight, you guys. Yeah. Having some technical difficulties. Happy Friday. Um, Friday. Friday. So Friday. let's jump into our recap, because uh, we had a hell of an episode last episode. Yeah. Um, last episode was the aftermath of all of you being infused with your powers. Um, what you've now come to know is he essentially erupted out of this canister with the words Callisto 6 written across it, a yellow lightning bolt streaking out and just hitting all of you and sending you into a whirlwind of pain and reality-bending madness. When it all cleared up, 
and you're all trying to put the pieces together. You didn't have a lot of time. You managed to get a brief chat in with the doctor. Do you guys remember her name? Oh, yes. uh, oh it's written down. Anika Patel. Patel. Anika Patel. Anika, Anika Patel. Patel. Okay. Who was an employee of... Pyramid Star Solutions. Pyramid Star Solutions. See, this is why I, this is like it's good to take notes. Um, I have exactly six notes. <laughs> <laughs> I get a cookie, thank you. Yeah, yeah no problem. <laughs> yeah, man, but it, it, during TBD RPG for, and to present day, Amy is, and, and, and like, and now you, Hector, just notes, notes, Sometimes notes. they get kind of sketchy. <laughs> well, now you're playing cats. I just wrote five Bonnie, Shock, Nizam, and Nuts, and then there's just like eight spaces. I, Nizam I'm and so Nuts should be abandoned. Rating. Nizam and Nuts. Hector yeah, also nuts? gets sketchy, but they're such good-looking sketches, yeah. I can't even be mad. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. I had notes. They were just underneath the other papers. I don't care. I'm penalizing all of you. Dude, that is a sweet logo. Nice. I love done. that logo. Yes. You can get it on a hat in the Geek and Shop. Um, I'm going to get all that merch. You managed yeah. to talk to Dr. Patel. You managed to have a few words with her. You discovered that she had been injured from what looked like a close-range blaster shot from a plasma round straight to the side of her body. Um, you were able to stabilize her for long enough to give her a chance to speak to you um, before she passed away, right there. At the same time, an unidentified strike team showed up in a drop ship. The drop ship looking vaguely similar to perhaps like one of the Pelican uh, drop ships in uh, Halo, mm -hmm. swooping in, dropping down 12 commandos in combat gear, and a fight broke out. Um, By itself, a, I swear. A <laughs> fight where you decided to play a nice game of catch with a dumpster and 12 of these commandos, and all hell broke loose as your powers began to uh, reveal themselves. Mm -mm. Um, some of them a little out of your control. Some of these powers uh, are requiring a finesse that nobody has just yet because they're reality bending. I'm looking at you, <laughs> Oya. Um, and as a result, there was some backlash from trying to attempt to use these powers. And sometimes they were activating kind of on their own. It was the moment of the infusion where you were all basically converted into more than human. And as a result, the powers were functioning on a level that has since subsided. In the past 24 hours, you've noticed that your abilities are a little more contained, a little more easy to control and not so wild. Um, Anton, you have been able to have, a, you, you, it's a little bit easier to control your body, but what you're finding mm -hmm. is that without constantly concentrating on your joints, you will be walking, sorry, Sam. <laughs> without constantly concentrating on the, uh, specifically on the joints of your body, mm -hmm. you'll be walking and you'll realize you'll feel a strange swaying sensation looking down to see your fingers are dragging on the ground. <gasps> Um, and you'll have to just what? snap them back up to your hand mm -hmm. and hope that nobody has seen. It's been 24 hours since we left you all off. Where we left you off mm -hmm. was a darkened parking lot not far from Raft City in this drop ship that had been parked there after it had been stolen by Lacey. By the way, you have an unconscious pilot. Chucked him at the door. Did you oh, chuck no, him at the door? Oh, that's right. Door. You did chuck him at the door. You guys sent him <laughs> back to his this? friends. Fling, I remember yes. that, yes. <laughs> I remember that now, yes. Um, so you guys have this dropship. Now, again, I want to just specify the dropship is unmarked. You do not know which company it belongs to or which paramilitary organization it belongs to or which department it belongs and to. Didn't Clearly, see anything inside that would indicate whose ship this was? It's mm. clean. You can do a search. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, we can assume that you guys have done that because yeah. since we're starting the game 24 hours later, um, it, the sun has begun to set again in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, here are the events that have gone on throughout the day. Citywide protests of Proposition Z have erupted across all of Los Angeles. Now, the rioting seems to be somewhat sporadic. It was being billed as citywide at first, but now as information is starting to come through the, the airwaves, people are beginning to see that it's actually just in pockets of the city, kind of spread out all over the place. But the protests, on the other hand, are large. There's about 200,000 people taking to the streets, filling Whoa. street levels. Yes, think of like, it's Women's March scale. It's a huge damn protest. Um, and there are people on both sides. Um, lots of roads have been closed down. Uh, businesses have been closed down, boarded up. LAPD is out in force and frustratingly being kept out of the corporate sector of Los Angeles where um, security forces are. Now, just to give you an idea, this is not because LAPD can't go in there, but a little bit of a backstory. In the past eight months, there have been 
incidents between corporate security and Los Angeles PD. And it always happened with inside the cor- LA corporate zone in the center of the city. Um, and this is, of course, because in, the, in LA, corporate LA, corporate security has jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. And so it gets dicey who gets to do what down there. And it's resulted in confrontations between law enforcement and corporate security. So when you say incidents like... There's been shootings. There's been shootings. There's been, you know, crossfire between Mm -hmm. these two groups. Is this something that is, like, publicly known? Mm -hmm. Is it it hidden? Nope. Okay. No, it's it's publicly known because uh, Mayor Gao actually made it a point to tell everyone what had happened. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, his platform right now is vote yes on Measure Z. And this is a further example in his platform, his political platform, that corporate L.A. needs to be reined in. Mm -hmm. Um, Corporate L.A. has been taking a lot of PR hits lately, but they're not, let's just say that they're not doing so poorly that the other half of the protest isn't fueled by people who are saying no on Z. Um, Now, I should say that the shots that were fired between corporate security and police departments, it only resulted in one injury. And it was very minor, thankfully. So, but it was enough. It was enough. And it kind of set off. You can actually trace the powder keg that has popped in the city right now back to that incident. Mm -hmm. And it's just been building ever since. Um, So throughout the course of the day, it's been a little rough moving around Los Angeles. Um, Right now, Lacey has still got this damn thing parked in this parking lot (laughs) in the middle of... uh, I would say the, it's an old abandoned uh, industrial district just outside of Raft City. Um, again, a lot of people choose to make their homes here in some of the abandoned buildings. Uh, LA doesn't really claim them. Um, a lot of these buildings have just kind of been left. It, this is very similar to what happened after Sea Day. And there's a lot of stuff that's around here that is now oceanfront property, but it's still kind of, I would say, it, it's kind of like... It's just an abandoned, it, it's, it's very darkened, it's very unkept. It's, like a, it's, it's essentially, like I said, an abandoned industrial complex area. Probably where old power plants used to be, old apartment buildings have been hollowed out, stuff like that. Um, the people that live here are not the stereotypical crime-ridden looking types that you see in the films all the time. The people that live here are actually just folks who can't afford rent, but they're actually carving out a bit of a life for themselves. Some of them do live in pods which are very durable leftover tents that can be erected and they were used for humanitarian purposes uh, for the past 30 years. Um, Some of them are probably about 30 years old, so they look grimy. They've lost that silver sheen and they've lost a lot of their insulation. Um, It's not quite a tent city, but you can tell that this is the lower end of town where people from all walks of life have gathered to try to make ends meet where they've kind of fallen off their feet so to speak. Um, no one has approached the dropship. It seems like everyone has either, they've been around the block enough to know that when a paramilitary looking uh, aircraft lands in the middle of a uh, parking lot, you just don't go near it. Even though the doors have opened up and a few of you have come and gone since the thing touched down uh, late, late in the evening, a uh, night ago. But no one has approached any of you. And the day has just kind of passed. Um, your parents, however, have been reaching out to you, terrified that you might be involved with the riots because the last time they saw y'all <clears throat> was you were heading down to the damn convention center where the whole thing started. Um, so go ahead and give me a quick rundown. Who's been in contact with their parents? We were waiting to see if it was safe, but yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to guess Lacey's <clears throat> been hard at work encrypting and trying to make sure that their transmissions are like low-key, not being picked up across the Nystral Corpse uh, yeah, detection grid. Yeah, last episode we set up a VPN. Right. So that oh, right. You know, yes, that's correct. Contact uh, yeah. our loved ones. Um, and so we were seeing if we were, the, our, our profile specifically, were being actively tracked anywhere. So here's what I'll give you. Um, no. Okay. Nobody's profiles are being actively tracked. <sighs> Great. And making the phone calls, nobody seems to notice. Okay. How could that be possible? How could there be no news of what happened to us anywhere? There's a lot else going on. Yeah, and maybe they want to keep that stuff a secret. Maybe they want to keep uh, it a secret. Have you ever been ye- love yelled at for 15 minutes straight? What? Yes. 
<laughs> love yell that's kind of like how my family talks all the time exactly <laughs> I was gonna say Oya's family probably love yells your mom yeah. every day would probably get along with my mom yeah wow how's everyone else doing my parents are good they're safe they're I told them as little as I could but I told them that I was okay yeah 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 same and they want to know more and I, I said I'd have to talk to everybody first to figure out what we're doing yeah, and what do we tell people? Like, do we tell them the truth about what happened? If they're trying to hide what happened to us, then that means that there's a very dangerous group of people, potentially, trying to keep that a secret and maybe even looking for us. So if we go around and let everybody know who we are, then that means that our parents can be in danger. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't tell my parents anything. Mm -mm. I just said we were there and then we left and we had to like hide out at a friend's house. Yeah, exactly. I didn't have to do much talking. She did all, most of it. <laughs> well, I told them to be safe, and I told them that something was happening, and, and I would contact them again, but, yeah. And did you, did, you, did you talk to your mom? Yeah, she just assumed I was working. It was fine. <laughs> That's what I thought she would think anyway, so. Okay. I, you know, uh, th this is 24 hours, and... and Right? Or is it 24 hours yeah. later, yeah. And just and just to give you guys a geographic idea, y'all are still right next to Raft City. You're right. probably about three miles away from where y'all live. <clears throat> but yes. this this parking lot overlooks the ocean, and it, there is a harbor. So you, you, you guys kind of are a little exposed out here, but again, nobody has shown up. Y'all would have noticed that I came back wearing galoshes, <laughs> purple galoshes, because <laughs> just to, you know, a okay. little extra. Oh, um, great. Mm -hmm. Oh, you found uh, and boots. I did, yes. And I have, I brought my work bag just in case if we can, you know, get rid of all this. I, you know, yeah. actually would like to go to work. Um, do you need me to roll for what I've done in the 24 hours? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you could. Okay. Um, so, we have moved. are you, are you, you're remotely trying to tap into the security, correct? To, from where you're at? I'm not trying to go back into the center of the riots. To make it's good to get that clarification. I want to know how crazy Lacey is. <laughs> um, uh, okay. I wouldn't use that word. <laughs> All right. So, All right. So you're going to do this remotely. You're going to be using your computer. So that'll be counting as an asset. Yeah. Hacking into the security feed. Um, I'm going to set the difficulty at six. Um, so before any reductions, you need an 18 or better. Is this just the hacking part? Um, actually, uh, I was gonna ask if you could help me, maybe. Oh well, yeah. Cause I'm going to remove all of the traces of us going into the elevator and us being in the alley and all of that. But if we just disappear, that looks suspicious. Could you do like an alternate feed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. So to forge, do a Yeah, forgery. like create an alternate video feed that looks like us, but we're just doing going something out else. somewhere else. Yeah, totally. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, awesome. So um, I'll, first I'll oh, you when I. <laughs> first of many, I hope. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do I help? Well, because Beautiful. Lacey's already trained in hacking, um, you doing, I'm gonna say, well, first of all, we need to find the footage and then you can alter it. Okay. okay. So the first roll. Um, to just get in. Yeah. The first roll is just getting in. Okay. So do you have anything you can do to assist Lacey on that? Um, I don't this, think this so. This is the Lacey thing. I, yeah. That's what this, I figured. There's a Lacey mm. part and an Olya part. Okay. Where's Lark Sage? We need her. It's yeah. a straight up six difficulty. You need 18 or better. Go ahead and make your drops. And how do they drop? <laughs> drop. All right. Um, that's four drops. Four um, drops of difficulty. That's two for specialization in uh, using the machine, one for the asset of the wrist computer, and one for coding as crafting. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm going to. Um, spend a level of effort to bring that down to difficulty one. Okay. So I have to roll a three or higher. Three or higher. It's gonna be a superhero. I do. Nice okay. Seventeen. It's beautiful. I didn't see that yes. So Lacey, you bring it up on the display. It be you see the augmented reality begins to just fold down in front of your eyes, and you begin to lose track of everything else that's going on around you. And pretty soon, you find yourself slipping in to 
the net, essentially. Um, it's becoming a little bit darker in the room to you, and eventually you do see data feeds start popping up. Um, running your searches, you do find some, what looks like the ability to track, you basically open up Nystrel's communication corp. Um, security feeds all over Los Angeles have the capacity to broadcast to other stations. So one of the things that you can do when constantly having a security feed going is you can get a live broadcast going at all times. It's a simple matter of tracking down when that broadcast was happening. Um, you do actually manage to find and locate the uh, convention center security apparatus, the mainframe that is constantly cycling through, transferring and recording all information from inside the security, inside the security camera of the complex and outside. Um, it's a simple matter of jumping multiple codes that people would probably need some serious hacker equipment to do, but Lacey does with their freaking mind. Um, you literally just sort of like a curtain separate the lines of code and step into the open area. You kind of just roll in and see all of these data feeds up in front of you. It's your eyes essentially become a wash with greenish light and you're all watching Lacey's eyes slightly become iridescent as they kind of lean in and it looks like they're zoning out. Um, are we seeing them do this, or mm -hmm. what, what are what are we seeing? We're not seeing. Well, if you're looking at Lacey right now, and if yeah. you're here, um, Lacey has they had their computer display up in front of you and in front of them, and you could tell that they were they were accessing a few digits and numbers, mm -hmm. but have since lowered it, mm -hmm. and they're just staring straight ahead. Cool. And their eyes, if you didn't know any better, if you could look close enough, you might see lines of code flickering across the irises. Um, Lacey, you managed to see a wall of images from last night. The convention center, people that were talking to each other, conversations that were happening, lots of ambient noise, hundreds and thousands of pieces of data feeds constantly being streamed in. Um, it's a matter of just finding the right time codes as you skim through. It takes you just a few seconds to be able to locate the alleyway and exactly the time that everything was going down. And when it peers up in front of you, Lacey, you see a calm, empty alleyway. The time code continues to advance. You've now passed the time where all of you would have left the outside of the building, and you see a calm, empty oh. alleyway. Oh, Wait, what? I want to check the change log. You immediately switch over. It's like flipping, kind of like virtually just flipping the screen around and looking behind it to see if there were any fingerprints all over this thing. Um, go ahead and make a roll for me. Okay. Difficulty is going to be seven. Okay. Ooh. Uh, same roll. Uh, same roll. So I'm going to spend one more point of effort to do that. All right. Um, Anton has dropping hacks. it down. So that'll be <laughs> down to difficulty two. two. Uh, so I have to roll a six or higher. <clears throat> Twelve. Twelve. Um, Lacey, whoever it was, was really good. Um, probably somebody who spends some time on the dark web, is what your guess is, because it looks like the subtlety in which they removed this code. It's either somebody who is quite good at slipping around the everyday um, mach machinations of the net, or it's somebody who works at Nystrel and has access to all of this stuff, but whoever it was, very subtly removed and replaced, essentially did what you were planning on doing with Oya. This is a manufactured feed, and the data has been completely removed. And it happened about six hours ago. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Where do we disappear? Do we disappear in the elevator? Do we disappear in the room? Did they just change the alley? So you start scrolling back, scrubbing back to the the uh, the convention, the speech. Oh, did you hear my cloud joke? Where you actually see Hops up on stage. I still don't get it. Um, <laughs> Hops is up on stage talking, and you do see, you kind of zoom in, and you're watching the conversations happen again of like, there's a security problem outside. We should clear everyone out of here right away. You see cutting to a lot of people being ushered up out of their tables, the robot approaching your table. You kind of zoom in on it. You have to flicker over to an enhanced light vision because it's so dark in here. And you see all of your confused and worried faces and uh, uh, watching Luma grab one last piece of food off the plate before you guys start slipping out of the room. Um, 
when y'all reach the kitchen area, um, it's there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of people being escorted out. And you have to zoom in on you and the robot. And watching you guys from this angle, you immediately switch to behind the scenes where you guys were sort of like behind the stages, you know? Mm -hmm. And as you switch to that time code, nothing. The time code continues to advance. Nobody walks through the doors you just saw you guys walk through. You should have been the first one through, Lacey. The doors would have opened. You would have rolled through with the robots walking right next to you. Nothing. Okay. I want to do one more check while I'm in here. Okay. Uh, for uh, personal purposes. Okay. I want to follow Michelle earlier in the day. Okay. You start scrubbing back. Um, Lacey, I need you to make another roll. Okay. This is not gonna be a coded hacking, this is gonna be a hacking roll, but there's no code here. Um, okay. Just use your base ability. Okay. Uh, difficulty is five. All right, then that is down to two. Uh, specialization plus asset. All right. <sighs> Please. So six or better. Nine. You've triggered something. Uh. Ooh. You're not aware of it at first, but as you start moving through and scrubbing <laughs> through, you begin to become aware of the presence of something. If, if you could imagine being in a house of mirrors and suddenly aware that someone is in here with you and turning corners, you could hear their feet shuffling as they're coming closer, trying to find you. Mm -hmm. It's the same sensation. And as you're scrubbing through, you just it's almost like you guys watch in the chair as mm -hmm. Lacey instinctively, uh, unaware, just kind of glances over their shoulder a little bit like they're looking behind them. You okay? Something's following me. Yeah. Where? Uh, no, Where? there's nobody We're else here. We're still on the ship. Yeah. Um, I'm around the middle of the day on the convention floor. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. There's someone else. I think I... I think I probably need to get out of here right now. Okay. They Get you out. need to break something? I'll break something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. No, what do we do? Like, how do you pull out? Plug. You gonna disconnect? Yeah. Um, so, Lacey, this is really your first time you have used your computer as a launch pad to psychic psychically link up with the network. So, I think I better get out of here. Yeah. Um, whoever they were, they weren't close to you. But when you basically pull out of the uh, the interaction. <laughs> There's a wave of dizziness for a second as you're coming back into the real world, and the light here is just glaring into your irises. Ah, uh, mm, photons. <laughs> okay, um, I have good news, and I have really bad news. Mm. Uh, really um, bad news me. first. Yep. Yeah, I guess bad news. Uh, Can you make it a always end with the cherry on top? Good news, bad news, good like, news sandwich? Like a, a yeah, sandwich. Um, okay. Like a cookie so, sandwich? Yeah. So the good news is sandwich. that all of, uh, we aren't in the alley anymore, in the security feed. Wait, what? Okay. Well, you d I don't have to do anything? Uh, no, because the bad news is someone else did that for us first. Great. And I so couldn't find them. already knows. Oh my god, are they gonna kill us? Okay, no, end it with We're other not, good news. We have news. anything oh to say about it. Likely we'll just be taken somewhere good and news. infected or oh something. No um, way. Um, we're definitely in the delivery zone for my favorite pizza. Wait. What? Cool. That's I tried to think of a third good news and I couldn't think of one, but that's the one that I could think of. Is, was, uh, okay, okay, so all that's, right. That's, that's, that's so what I got. Um, and then talk about more about how we're gonna die soon. Let's figure this oh, out. We probably shouldn't order food because then it has to get delivered. <gasps> or, I, don't worry, don't worry. Put a fake worry. name, put a fake name. But it still has to get delivered here. Um, Anything near here? Can, like, can, can they deliver yeah, yeah, like yeah. that bus stop? Uh, don't worry, I, I, I got food covered. I'm Wait. very hungry. I'll be right back. <laughs> just stay safe. I'm just gonna go home for a second. Um, okay. Can it's I come? It's a two mile yeah. hike. It's two miles? Mm -hmm. I'm fast. I was just gonna go make us some food. Luma, is that the best idea? What time idea? is it? I don't know, I'm starving. Things It's about 6.30 in the evening. In the evening? Mm -hmm. Look. Cause we have to go home at some point. If My Lacey can do what they can do, none of Roughly. us can go back home right now until we figure out what's happening and how in danger they are. And if Lacey can do what they can do, then I'm sure that they can order us some food to show up here, anonymously, off of the grid. What was that part what? about someone following Cooking you? Cooking is how I de-stress, okay? Um, um, uh, yeah, I, I was just looking through things, and whoever did this was good, and I looked in, in the, to see whether they had left any tracks, and they 
hadn't, and then I was looking at video footage, and yeah, that, it's not the way it usually works, but it was like there was someone there. I I don't. How sorry, I usually understand this better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Someone I'm sorry. Just in the further than me. Like someone inside the same way you were inside, or just someone was also coding at the same time as you? I don't know. I haven't done it like this before. Usually it's just coding. Does that mean that there's more like us out there? If someone can do what you do and is oh, doing what you do at I the same time you do what that. you do? I, I, I don't have that. enough data to make conclusions of of that of that nature. Lacey, okay. First of all, great job. Really great. <laughs> Secondly, could it be possible? that anybody could have traced you back to us, back to here. Should I smash that? Maybe we should move the hovercraft. If it helps. Um, the then where can we get these in the levers? That is nine one two. Everything is through a VPN. Uh, they, I, I definitely did that. That is definitely right. Okay. Okay. I think we're okay for now. What do you guys need to do? Eat food. Food. I want to see my dads. Yeah. I want to go, go home. home. I mean, they already know what we look like, and we, I mean, we all just got off the phone with our families, and no one's come for them in six hours, so maybe, maybe they'll leave us alone. Maybe they're already there. Then. And they're oh. waiting for one of us to show up. Then we need to save them. No, us. no. There's no way. If someone was already in the house, my mom would have found a way to tell me. Not a physical person, but some kind of a. Like surveillance, surveillance oh. technology. Then, then maybe we need to just act normal. Yeah. Go yeah, home. Yeah. May, pretend. Yeah. Go to work. Yeah. Go Nothing to home. Happened. Do that. Nothing but if happened. Somebody new to erase us. Like if they, if they connect us to your folks, how is that going to look for Baldwin Island? Oh my God, my dad. Look, I'm not disagreeing with you. I want to do that stuff too. We all should yeah. be able to go home and check in on them or save our parents. But what I'm saying is, look, I know. The corporate sector, but this is not familiar territory. Is there anything that you can? Is there anyone? Do you have a contact or anyone that you can? Do you like a handbook for when yeah. your horrible and ethical experiments go wildly wrong? Hmm. Hmm. No, <laughs> because I didn't know that was a thing. Mm. Oh yeah. I still don't know if this is who this is. I don't know if this is Cassium or Pyramid Star Solutions. I don't know if this is Pyramid, Nystrol. Well, she and if this is mid. the little canister, it's from Pyramid Star. Like, I saw you, him. They, I saw Kylan She Charles. saw the, she saw right. the lab. Now did you, Pyramid Star. you told them about that vision, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. We went we, over it. We went over it because we used and to. Over and okay. over again. She's right. going to be making We're a VR environment of it. So we can yeah, actually yeah. I've been building that. <clears throat> okay. Look, all I'm saying is. Probably roll the Well, yeah, we can we can do a crafts and check in a bit. My whole life has been in that sector, basically. I just know how powerful it can be, how all-encompassing, inco incorporating itself into every facet of our lives. Now, I've never been yay? out here. No, not yay. I mean, look, it it's good and helpful when it's doing its job, which is to take care of people. When Cassium's doing that, then it's good. Yes, yay, sometimes yay is sometimes yay, but what I'm saying is, if one of these companies could be capable of this, we don't know what else they could be capable of. I'm somebody who is supposed to be, even though I'm only really entry level, an expert on this, and I have no idea what happened. So if we do go back to our parents, yeah, there might not be a shadowy person waiting in the wings to come out and attack us, but we might expose ourselves and our location. And yes, our parents might be in danger right now, but they would potentially be in more danger if nothing's happened in the past 24 hours if we do expose ourselves. Maybe they're waiting for us to do that. We have to try to outthink some kind of an evil group of shadowy individuals. That's how we have to approach this. And on top of that, Lindy Hops, the Hops just came up with something I didn't even think of. There could be others of us. Oh. There could be other Lacy's. I did think of that just now. <laughs> <laughs> so. That was very smart. Thanks. I, I, what we went through What's was a freak accident. What's your field? Marketing, public relations. I, <laughs> Wait, are you a science guy? Not really, no, I'm a talkie guy. I'm a people person. You're the sales mm. guy. I'm the um, sales guy. Yeah. And my job is to be able to read people 
and try to pre predict what people are going to say and do and want and need so that the company that I work for can give them that, help them that, sell them that, but also improve their lives and whatever part of their lives need improvement. Bet you didn't predict this. No. I, I know. I was, that was like <laughs> obvious answer. Like so. Humor or something. We are on the run right now. <clears throat> I don't know what that allows us to do. I, I know that Lacey can do incredible things, and thank you again for that, and I know that the rest of us can do some pretty incredible things too. My thing's weird. I don't know what my thing's gonna help us with, but the point is, is... Are you like okay though? Like, I are you in pain? I mean, you can hurt when you do that thing. <laughs> no, we've gone over this. It's actually yeah. now kind of relaxing. <laughs> I mean, you can reach really high shelves. Yeah. <laughs> not to That's okay. not to throw a, a, a kernel of paranoia into the group, but um, if other people possibly have what we have, I know we kind of all just met some of us today, and I can change my face sometimes. That's the thing that we should be aware of. Right. Because, huh. um... Okay, so if like any if of us leave each potatoes. other, oh right, yeah, we should come up with a code word. Wait, 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 what about potatoes? What? Wait, well, yeah, we need a way to know that it's all of us. Okay, I don't know, like a code, uh, like. But a... some of us have already left. I don't know, like a safe. Oh. I, I'm being very paranoid. You think but we might have been replaced with like I don't know. people or something? I no, I just um, if if like huh. you said, we may already be under surveillance, and if one of us just looks like one of us. Okay, well then what, you trying to say like, I changed myself I, or something? I'm not saying anything other Ruma's than- Ruma's saying you might be not you, but somebody else. Yeah. It's trying to I take my glove off and do a spark. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, Pop, yeah. Show sure. popping sound is a okay. spark just- Okay, uh, yeah, everyone just do that. Okay, uh, it's me. Okay, but Put what if someone on. can do everything? Oh, I know what I can do. <sighs> I'm sorry. I then grab, we're I grab in her big hand. trouble, and okay. just, we don't know. What do, do, Does anyone want <laughs> 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 so, oh, yeah. like, yeah? I'm like, so, okay, oh, yeah. are we all supposed to hold hands now? Is this a kumbaya thing? Like, Actually, what do we do? Actually, oh, yeah. maybe, 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 yes. yes. Okay, so you, you, you take Luma's hand, you go, I know what I can do. And you take Luma's hand, and you look at her, and the beat passes. This is awkward. Hold on, let me try harder. Um, all right, so what are you um, trying to do? <laughs> what, is, what, is, what, is, what is the intention? I'm trying to do, so when Cass and I t touched yeah. during the fight, we saw the history of our friendship, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I know we don't have many memories, but we have some memories together. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, were just divine, we were in it, so maybe you're, we'll you're information about me that you so, don't know. Oh, yeah. That's oh. another, yeah. Nothing happens. Oh, no. <laughs> um, is there anything? I don't feel anything. I don't am I either. supposed to feel something? What no. happened, Cass? What am I supposed to feel? You should see stuff. See, yeah, it was knowing like, each other. It was like we saw our whole friendship, our whole lives together, and we were there, like in the past. Oh yeah, I'm watching the present in um, a weird way. Are you trying to hit rewind on the past twenty four hours huh. to prove to Luma? But that wait, you're did you, you leave? You didn't yeah. leave. Did you leave? Leave? Nothing happened. Mm -mm. Well then, you didn't leave. What? Was am I? Was I the only one that left with you for a little bit? The no, ship? no, no, no. I'm not. I'm, I'm very confused. Yeah, I don't know either. It didn't work, I guess. I don't know what my power is. My power's weird, guys. We'll figure it out. But anyway, sorry, that that didn't prove anything, so. But what you're, what you're saying is we should have some way to like know. Yeah, like I mean, a safe oh, word yeah, for sure. Is a code? Well, you, yeah. Well, maybe that, maybe, but there's also maybe a physical I don't way. not trust you. A secret handshake? Like, what are <laughs> no, we talking about? Maybe a... I Maybe mean, a medical way to a to, medical a way, medical. yeah, something to just some kind of a like a blood test, like yeah, you look, like I'll a get a tattoo with a heart drop of a uh, okay, hat, but I don't know y'all that well. <laughs> no, so wait, like we meet in a dark alley Never and like you have to get a lab kit out and no, test no. like no. a hand if, if we can determine maybe how Luma's powers work and 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 how they've affected Luma then maybe we can figure out a quick way to prove that every one of us is every one of us. We'd need equipment for that. Yeah. Uh, like from Cassium. Yeah. And you need things from Cassium, right? You need the... You need clothes. Yeah, yeah. cause... <laughs> the moment you do it and relax, your arms just <laughs> <laughs> like taffy, just kind of sag down. That's, that's, that's so weird. That's weird. That can't so be good weird. for material. So are you allowed to bring guests, maybe? 
Maybe. Or at maybe. least one guest who can change her face. Yeah. And maybe another guest that can scrub our entire existence from any sort of surveillance technology. And maybe another guest that can just push somebody out of the way. I mean, I can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe another so. guest that can completely fry any surveillance technology. I mean, I don't know how good my aim's gonna be, but. And maybe someone who can tell us if someone's coming around the corner. Yeah, I can do that. Mm. So the, the plan guy. is not go home. The plan is to go <laughs> back to where we just well, left. Wait, go to maybe that's to go to corporate LA. Maybe that's one plan. Maybe are the maybe. riots still happening? Check the news. <sighs> um, uh, yeah. In fact, um, a few video feeds pop up, and you see the, again the riots are kind of they're kind of pockets here and there all throughout the city, but there are big marches being staged right now all throughout the city. Um, all of them marching down and some of them trying to congregate in corporate LA. Corporate LA is not stopping people from coming in, but it looks like they're bottlenecking it a little bit um, to sort of like slow it down. Uh, but no one, it looks like law enforcement and stuff like that and corporate security, they're all just kind of staying back and letting the marches come through. There's oh. no, like, there doesn't seem to be any visual, like, clear out, you can't be here, right. oppression kind of stuff going no on. No curfew, because it's, it's nighttime. Yeah, um, it looks like for the most part, everyone, I mean, that's the other thing too, though, is because it is getting late, that is yeah. eventually gonna become an issue. Yeah. And the people, 200,000 people, this late at night marching is unusual as hell, and it doesn't look like they look, they're look they clearing out anytime soon. Um, okay, hear me out. I know I was clearly not on board a few minutes ago, but this may actually be the perfect time to go break in because everyone's really, really distracted. Yeah, yeah. there's a big crowd of people we could like slip in maybe. Yeah, or if all the security is facing out towards the street. Right. We could just fly there. Or fly in, yeah. Uh, because this You don't is, think this, this is, is a, a pretty it's not very inconspicuous, so whatever that word no, is. No, would be guests. Okay, okay, so, th so okay. that's one of our options. We have to figure out we have to figure out what else we want to do and Eat. what we need to find out. Well, we Eat. Need food. Food. Put that at the top of the list. <laughs> I have okay. a question for you. <laughs> yeah. With the VR thing, can that go two ways? Like, can you seeing in, can someone else see out or whatever? Like, w surveillance wise through VR, does that work? I don't know what you mean, but tell me again. Like, if my mom is hooked up to VR, will mm -hmm. they be able to see inside her house? I don't know. I don't oh, know this yeah. techie stuff. Really? Well, well yeah, sort of. Like, because I was gonna say we needed a safe place to go. We do not have surveillance at my house or, or any like techie stuff besides the VR machine. For I mean, mom. Lacey probably can talk to this too, but like huh. anything can be hacked, really. Yeah. If it's connected to any type of network, it can but be hacked. But this just could make our lives a little bit easier. Where is mm. your place again? Uh, it's like a warehouse district outside of the city okay. a little bit. Okay. Do you have a I, kitchen? Yeah, we got a kitchen. Luma, we, she's got a kitchen. You could cook to oh, great. wind down. Um, so it's it's a hundred percent definite that going home for even just a second is um a bad idea. It doesn't can matter if it's um, a second, a couple hours. Oh, I know. I you keep, might be the only one who can. Wait, why? Because you could. Oh, you look could like look anyone. like anyone. You could be a delivery uh, guy, so, or like I don't know, someone to fix yeah, okay. the toilet. Um, can you hold it? We don't have people like that to come fix a toilet. We've got a lacy. You have a lot of skills. <laughs> <laughs> I can't throw a dumpster. I don't think any, well. I uh, can't throw it very well. <laughs> oh, okay, well, um, maybe, okay. Um, maybe you can write a note and I can deliver it. It's, it's the second best thing, because I, I know, I know you want to go home, but um, I know I want to go home too. <laughs> I okay. want to hug my family, but um, okay, we maybe um, okay, you know, yeah, just write a letter, and okay. I'll I'll make sure it gets to okay, yep, okay, I'll write a letter, okay. Look, this is all just supposed to be temporary. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. We just have to yeah. figure out what we got to figure out how we got these powers. Yeah, who's looking for us? Why they're looking for us? Yeah, and how we can get out of it. How are yeah. you so? Collected right now, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're kind of all over the place, but well, like psychologically, together. Uh, well, I've been doing yoga since I was eight. It's true. He huh. he would make me do like the 
the tree and the Wait a minute. Dog. It's good exercise. You do yoga and you got the stretchy thing power that going on. Not lost oh. on me. Yeah. I thought it was because he's marketing and they bend over backwards <laughs> and stretch the I mean, it could be that too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know. I know. Sorry, Cass I is like, rude. I'm sorry. Cass was like already kind of strong, <sighs> and like would train me. Like you were my trainer, right? The type of personality that if you, you already could... had vision. Mm. I already was really huh. connected to my ancestors in the past. Mm. Wow. What about you? people mm, but you're very fashionable yeah yeah you yeah, can like change okay, your but look people aren't outfits i don't know people, and i mean people can be outfits. why did you have spray paint on you uh i'm an artist there it is right so there. cool <laughs> yeah have i seen your work uh, do you hang out in raft city a lot a little bit you might have seen my art up and about around town oh killer <laughs> what I bet she'd like the moss tag too. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Do you do you know moss? Do electricity? Does that name sound familiar stuff? to you? Electricity or moss? something? I don't know. No. Okay. Would I? When I was moss? a kid, I used to like. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Would you know who moss is? Would any of them know who moss is? That particular tag probably has some notoriety. Not, it, that hasn't really gained as much. I, I wouldn't say it's Banksy level. Yeah. Mm. But uh, it's kind of a new kind of a new thing that's happening right now. Yeah, but Cass is pretty hip. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Hang it's up. very much in the spirit of Cass. Stuff. It's true, yeah. Cass. You probably have been spending a lot of your time with ruffians and lawbreakers. <laughs> um, hey, it's entirely it. possible. It's entirely possible that you've. Uh, I would say. You know what? I would actually say that Oya and Cass have probably heard of it. Okay. What, what have we lots? heard of? What, what, what do we know? <laughs> Uh, there is, so there's a thing uh, now actually mm -hmm. where uh, you can make moss graffiti. Yeah. Uh, oh. And so, at one point, like the I Love LA on the highway. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Sort the, of. The, yeah. the heart. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you spray it and you water it and actual moss will grow. At one point, there was a spliced. Uh, Poisonous moss, like a poison ivy moss developed by Cassium, uh, that someone graffitied. Um, gosh, what did they say? Oh, um, Cassium is toxic. Cassium is toxic. Yeah. Oh, I've heard of this. In the toxic <laughs> moss, and they haven't moss. been able to get it out oh, for yeah. months, and it's at the base mm -hmm. of the building, and we were going to go see it's it. It's the first tagger to ever keep their stuff on a corporate building for longer than 24 hours. It's really exciting. And it's exciting. been up there forever, because wow. whenever they try to touch it, they I get. Was, yeah. Whoa. I brought my stuff because I was going to, I was I was trying to, no, I can't break that record, but at least get, it's a Hall of Fame kind of thing. If you get it longer than 24 hours, it's a big badge of honor, so. Heck yes! Yeah. You're going to see it and then get ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to do that. Can yeah. we help? Um, we've got other, but like. I think we have more bigger yeah. priorities right yeah. now yeah, than yeah, super moss, <laughs> like, Bottom of the list, that's going to go to the bottom the, of the yeah. list, is, is graffiti. graffiti. Do you moss. know whoever did that? No, I have no idea who they are, but I'm, oh God, to meet them would be. <laughs> I would buy them several drinks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, to answer everybody's question. What were you saying about being a kid? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, bring that back up. Uh, I don't know, like, as a kid, I used to, like, Go on trips with my dad, like in storms and stuff, and it was kind of cool. Oh. So maybe that. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like city lightning. Yeah, this is. And then, obviously, Lacey stupid. is like a tech genius. Yeah. All of our powers know. have to do with like stuff that has to do with us personally. Maybe. And they had our names all together at the same table. That's true. Yeah. Okay, but how could they have known that we were going to be escorted? It's not stupid, Hops. It makes this sense. Is, it's good. Mm. It's not, no, it's not this whole thing is how just... How are they going to know that, we, that there was going to be riots and that we were going to get ex escorted out all at the same time? Well, I don't Maybe know. Maybe all of that was just a coincidence? Yeah. Maybe that's canister stuff, like Callisto 6 or whatever. Maybe it it hit all of us and it affected us differently because we're different people. You know what I mean? It's not like there was a canister for you and for oh, you and yeah, for you. Yeah, 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 sure. It triggered something different in all of us. Yeah. So, okay. So it's, sure. It's I still something. need to study the mechanism of action. This is all really weird. So we have okay. three, anyway, places, Sorry, three places that we're trying to go to. Okay. Number one, a place to eat, potentially wind down, 
gather ourselves. Mm, now, maybe not in the ship, right? Yeah. And that could be Hops's place. Maybe to continue planning. Number two, clothes and maybe a way to prove each of ours identity. So maybe we can go to Cassium, sure. Number three, Pyramid Star Solutions to get some answers yeah. about this canister because we don't, as Lacey would put it, have enough data. Is that right, Lacey? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you mean proof of identity? Like, well, again. Of ourselves? Just oh. the, the oh, whole, um, oh, yeah, for us. Yes. Oh, just you in meant case, like, if in we get case separated. someone else is me at some point, yeah. or one of us. And then number four, graffiti a building. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know. Couldn't we just come up with some kind of code word or like handshake yeah. or something? I but think we established easier? potatoes, right? But if one of us right Gazelle. now is a shape-shifting bad guy, then that shape-shifting bad guy also well, is the code word. But then, but I, we, I think already, we've yeah. already established that. I haven't left. No one's left except for me. Left. Yeah. I was the only one who stepped out for a bit. Yeah. To get and you've got the lightning. So. I went my, and I did my little spocky. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay, wait. What day is it? <laughs> Pops. What day is it? Saturday. It's Saturday? What did you get oh, me for my 11th birthday? A train set. You hated it. That's accurate. Okay. <laughs> no. It was so stupid. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. You, you gave me a list of everything you wanted, and that was definitely not on it. But I was like, well, this is dumb. Mm. It's a nice I thought it'd be gesture, fun. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a pretty okay. dumb set. So <laughs> I gave you the receipt in the back. Yeah, I know. Okay. Who bad. gets mad about a present? I. It wasn't mad. It was. Is that what you decided to go into marketing to figure out what people really want? Well, I even <laughs> provided the list. I mean. He provided a list. What's of so fun about out. picking a yeah. present off a list? Yeah. I like your style. Thank you. <laughs> That was like a really, it was a That's really nice stupid sense. train set. <laughs> it had a little face on it. And you're like, yeah. Okay. It was like for like a four year old or something. It was like ages like three and up or something. It was for, I just thought it was funny because, you know, he was so much shorter than me and I, I always called him like aunt and because I was like, he's like, he looks like he's three or four. And so I gave him a, I gave him toddler toys. Oh, I misunderstood yeah. that. Yeah, sorry. It was yeah. a, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a like a <laughs> Fisher Price. <laughs> Was that what it's called? Fisher Price? Yeah, that, that's what it was called. Yeah. yeah it was vintage. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. That was funny. Mm -hmm. It was very nice, though. It was, I bet you could sell it for a lot now. So this is, is Train Kid better than Melty Guy? That's great. No, I kind of like Melty Guy. Now. Okay. So this is Hops. We're all us. Yeah. So then we don't need to go to Cassium to get some kind of a medical way to prove no. each other. We okay. need to go there for other reasons. Okay. Maybe Gazelle. I, that's our secret thingy. Okay. Again, Does that work? Maybe in the future, <laughs> just as a way to even determine what's happened to yeah. us, what's happened to you specifically, Lunar. Yeah. How these powers have affected you, maybe even how they've affected all of us. Mm -hmm. Give us give ourselves a checkup, if you will. What are your osteocytes like? Um, Top of the line. What's mind. your muscle fiber density? How are you ionizing things? What's your cell turnover like? How the physics? Yes. <sighs> yeah, also, did you just go into surveillance hacking with your brain? How? <laughs> yeah. I've got theories, but I'm not smart, so. We went from what to how? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's be plan yeah. Of action. yeah. Well, I'm good for a while. Okay, so, um. The protest. She wouldn't believe me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, else. I'm gonna pop out. It's a. Gazelle. Potato gazelles. We'll okay. work Potato on gazelles. it. Potato gazelles. Okay. okay. We'll work um, on something. I can't do that. I'm gonna. Kaka. Kaka. I don't know. Oh, where's my backpack? For... Oh, um, I grabbed it when we were leaving, and our ride was here. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's a close one. You're amazing. Thank you. All right. Be careful. Um, I need new clothes though. I can't have a different face and look like this. Oh, do I you want to like me? Borrow my jacket. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Who should I be? Who should I be? Who should I be? Well, don't be that doctor lady. <laughs> no. Um. Who will my mom answer the door for? Okay. 
I'm just walking out thinking this. Okay. <laughs> you get the ramp just lowers from the top. If you run into a problem, call shit. someone who still has glasses. Okay. <laughs> um, and you step down and out into the night. Uh, sun has set at this point, so it's getting a bit dark here now. There's a few overhead lamps, uh, street lights that are kind of illuminating parts of this parking lot area. Yeah. Most of them are flickering, but uh, you step out into the dark. Um, you see the glittering waters of the bay not too far away. And lots of figures moving throughout here, but everyone keeping their distance from the drop ship. Yeah. The people that are moving around, especially when the door is open and closing, they all kind of start moving away. Okay. Door closes up again. Uh, and you begin a two mile walk. Yeah. Back to Raft City. Um, Should we have I'm like gonna a- turn into Joe. He's a face that I know really well. Joe is the local, like, security boat guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel your body begin to shift at the will of just thinking about Joe and as many details as you can imagine. Yeah. You feel your density change. You kind of get a little bit heavier, and it takes you a moment to sort of realign yourself as weight distribution changes in mid-step. You just kind of stop for a moment and look down, and you have these thick fingers now. Whoa. You have a patch Joe. of hair on the back of your hand going all the way up your arms yeah. now. It's kind of looking at yourself. I remember him having lots of knuckle hair. <laughs> okay. Your voice, by the way? <clears throat> I remember him having lots I remember of... remember him having lots of knuckle, knuckle hair. hair. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's Joe. Um, you're getting a, f- a really good uh, first impression of what it's like to have stubble all over your face. You're just kind of... Still weird. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but this is fun. It is kind of strange to play with as you kind of run your hands down it. It is like a gentle sandpaper. How do they not just scratch their face all day? (laughs) This is pretty cool. Okay. As you look back up, you notice that one person was actually, it looks like a vagrant, perhaps, standing about 10 feet away from you. Um, As you look up and notice them, they've clearly been listening to you and they just kind of... It's longer than normal. It's itchy. Just moves, moves away from you. Okay. Um, Doesn't appear like anybody's noticed. You don't hear no. any screaming okay. in terror or anything like that. No. Seems Good. like he probably just saw a dude talking to himself. That's true. I just want to check myself really fast and make sure that I'm not like half and half like I was last time. <laughs> you just okay. bring up the display. Um, it gives you kind of the reverse view for selfies, so to speak. Yeah. A bit, as it yeah. flips back up and you flinch as this dude oh, Joe gosh, is looking back Joe. at you. Oh, I um, need some sleep. Guys, really eye sleep. color a little bit wrong, but the moment you spot it, your eyes go and change down to the dark green that they are. You now look exactly like Joe. Huh. Sweet. Oh, rough up the little buzz cut that he's yeah. got. And, um, Again, kind of a strange sensation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the hippest Joe's ever looked. Let's go. Have to adjust the way you walk. You yeah. just kind of notice that Joe's just got a little bit heavier. There's as not he's a walking. lot. Of, Did my jacket get stressed he, out? Um, no, he's, he's, he's jacket. not stressed out, it. but it's definitely shorter in the it's, sleeves uh, now. Okay. <laughs> Joe is sort of a broad, a, a, not a very broad. He, he's kind of got a little bit of a tummy. Okay. Um, and it's like a graying buzz, like an early graying. Like he, this mm-hmm. this person started going gray at like, like twenty five, mm-hmm. kind of deal. Mm-hmm. So he's still young. He's just kind of, he's on a boat all day, not doing much because Rap City does its own sort of. Business. We're getting character backstory for uh, Joe right now. You know, just so you know. He seems to like Joe. take notes, y'all. <laughs> wow. um, okay. This is right. Joe's midlife crisis jacket. It's your. He's red and everything's perfect. Yeah. It's, it's, it's his red sports coat. Mima, you're kind of realizing. Coat. You're kind of realizing as you're walking. Coat. You're kind of realizing as you're walking into yeah, it that you're. I'm getting you're, him a little pep in his step. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting into this. You're, yeah. You're yeah. Go. Yeah. Um, sure. All right. Morning, Margaret. So, two, two mile walk <laughs> to Rap City. People are not asleep at seven at night. People are definitely yeah, out. Yeah, you know, you know, say good morning. morning. <laughs> oh, it's weird. It's <laughs> my life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that I've been in a hovercraft for the last 24 hours delusion. So before we get to a scene back at Raft City, yeah. a two-mile walk is going to take some time. It's true. Go back to the two rest of the group. Two-mile back. Yeah. So what are you guys planning on doing 
at the drop ship while Ooh. this is happening. I'm going to be working on building that VR, uh, okay. uh, the VR version of that vision that I had last time. Okay. You, without a full computer setup in front of you, you're not going to be able to do a lot of work on it, but you mm -hmm. can definitely start laying some of the groundwork that you can transfer over to your computer setup. Yeah, I imagine that like my wrist computer has what we would consider like an app. Mm -hmm. So it's like the difference if you're working on like a photo, uh, like, can I say Photoshop? Yes, I can say Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> what? It, like working on like a Photoshop app on your computer. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like the okay. simpler version of the bigger mm -hmm. one at home. So yes, I'll do like a very um, bare bones beginning layout of, okay. of the vision. Um, all right. So you start you start going to work. Can I say oh. as you do that, I have like a, a snack routine from when you're working at home and I don't know you can tell me if I made it like I definitely filled my pockets with food when we left the banquet. I don't know if any of those scraps made it through that fight, but like some mushy bread. Mm -hmm. The scraps um, through the scrap. Oh yeah. 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 Like, let's 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 be fun. Let's <laughs> throw a die. Okay. Even yes, odd no. Roll for food. Oh my god, roll, roll for, for food. food. Roll for food. Roll for coding snacks. <laughs> you want your own dice? Roll for Mishy Because I imagine food. Cass is like, I might end up in jail tonight, I so I should bring some sandwiches some just yeah. in case. <laughs> Even though they're yep. probably going to make me empty my pockets. Yeah. That too. <gasps> That's great. All right, so. Okay, so half you... of those are even. <laughs> <laughs> which one's right? yes and which one's no? Even is yes. No. No. Because <laughs> you reach in, you find a Sorry. single slice of the top of a sandwich, the bread. Um, and you realize as you reach in, you're like, oh, man. And you pull out your hand. It's got a little bit of mustard all over the knuckles. You prob That sandwich probably flew out at some point, leaving the plastic wrap that it was in. <laughs> and uh, the inside of your pocket's got a little bit of mustard. Um, there is a, a beaten, pressed slice of bread, however. Look, uh, there's got to be, this is Raff City, bread. there's got to be street vendors, right? Just outside of Raff City? Yeah. yeah. You can probably find tree street yeah. vendors. I'm going to find you some street tamales. I'll be oh, back. yeah. Oh, God, you had to say that. Oh. Sounds good. Yes. Thanks, mm -hmm. Cass. Now I'm, like, really hungry for tamales. <laughs> can you Thanks, imagine? Thanks, Cass. Thanks, Cass. Tamale technology and... 2119. God, I hope it hasn't changed. <gasps> it's I wanna, oh, it's I, exactly I, the same. It had to have been improved. <laughs> I imagine. There's no way to improve perfect no. tamales. Faster? Yeah. Faster? No. Faster Making tamales? It needs to be slow. Yeah, probably no, like steaming them faster. I mean, like, are you talking about like the chicken good scene where it just gets some popcorn? This close to Rap City, it's not yeah. faster. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in corporate LA. No, yeah. Wait. It's fast tamales. I'll take it. I mean, I just want tamales. <laughs> so you're leaving for food? Is that right? Uh, unless anybody stops me, I well, might wait a minute. around the corner. We just let Luma Luma leave. You're now leaving. We should have like some kind of buddy system or something. If we're just all gonna, oh, yeah. you know, like yeah, I kind of you know left for a little bit, but whatever. You go like, cash? Well, I'm not saying that I wanted to go. I'm just saying, or are you going? Do you not want to go? Where are you going? I'm just gonna look. Someone's gotta. Have are you like going on Raft City or like? Or I'm gonna go like a block and see if yeah. anyone's selling any food. Okay, this I just don't want to go like on a raft or whatever. They're called. On like on a, I don't want to go like I on any boats. Should, that, cops, I think you should stop talking. Just go and it just, you know. Come on, come on, come on. Have right. you had street tamales? I've had a tamale. Bring oh, some back. Oh, fine. Okay. It's like a snack before we get the Luma food later. Um, all right. I'll go, I'll go with you. Um, stepping out. <laughs> Once again, y'all head out into the cool Bay Air. Um, it's probably, temperature's probably dropped to about 65 degrees out here on, near the water. Mm -hmm. um, and as the lights from the inside the dropship are once again covered by the rising uh, platform of the dropship as it closes up, <clears throat> you find yourselves out in this parking lot, as I described before. Flickering lights, a couple of passerbys and whatnot. You see a few trash fires, which people have gathered around and are having some laughs from the sounds of it. I'm getting shit. Uh, um, <laughs> um, I'll say you guys walk about uh, maybe a block or so, kind of keeping quiet as you're looking around. Um, go ahead and make a roll. We'll just make this an intellect roll. Um, intellect roll. Um, What's the difficulty? Dark. It's dark out here. It is populated. I'll just set it at two, standard, so you need a six or better. Okay. It's a perception <laughs> check. Yep. This isn't a task involving patience or willpower, is no, it? No, it's a perception. Right. It's a perception. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. We both succeed. All right. Um, yeah, you you find a street vendor. Um, about a block and a half away is a guy selling funnel cakes. 
Um, he's just, uh, there's about three people waiting in line. Um, you can smell beer. <laughs> so you're not sure where that's coming from, but the smell is significant as you're approaching. Um, but as you walk up, he does have this big sign on it. It says Elliot's Funnel Cakes. And this big, like, <laughs> symbol of Elliot giving a big smile. Um, uh, as you approach, it's it's one of those uh, food trucks that's not a full food truck. It looks like it's one of those trucks that probably attaches to a truck that's driven around town. And you see this sort of beaten up 20-year-old um, armored-looking Dodge. <laughs> and when I say armored, it just looks bulky. Like, this is a heavy truck, probably used for moving around lots of heavy items. Mm. Um, pickup, back flatbed and everything, dark, dark red with a lot of rust kind of scraping across the back of the wheels, just above the back of the wheels. Um, the truck that it's pulling around, the food truck itself, though, the, the trailer, is actually quite lively and looks like it's well kept. Um, and as you approach, you see a, uh, looks like a 35 to 40 year old Hispanic male kind of dip, dip his head down and see you guys approaching, buzz cut. And he just kind of goes, hello, hello. Hi, uh, we'll take 15. Fif uh, you want 15 funnel kicks? Sure. And six beers. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can do that. It's gonna take some. Uh, it's gonna take some time. We got a few minutes. It's All right, fine. cool. Give me about uh, fifteen minutes. Sure. You got that? It's quick. Okay, let me uh, let me just get your totals here. Minute cake. That's right. What are y'all doing all the way out here? You all from Raft City? We're visiting friends in Raft City. Right on. Sure. Yeah, I've got some family in Raft City. Or I did. They moved away not too long ago. Mm. Uh, okay, so their total's gonna come out to uh, thirty-four fifty. I, I got it. Uh, don't use it. Whatever. It's cold. It's gonna today. Uh, I give him cash. And you pull out and he goes, cash? Keep oh. the change. Hey, thank you. You're Counts welcome. it out. Um, says, you sure? Sure. Oh, thanks. Folds You're it making out. 15 of them. I mean, jeez. You literally wanted 15. Sure. You're gonna get 15. I'm giving you a discount. 15's a big order. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. Yep. I figured we could at least all eat. All right. Oh, I don't know when the he next time we're... Steps back right? in, he steps back into the back of the truck and goes over to the fryer. And you can immediately smell the powdered sugar as you just see this puff of white as he starts pulling out all of the supplies. Um, I a hand few, you cash for half. A few moments later, he comes back and sets down two plastic cups sloshing with beer. Um, seeing cups like this, by the way, is pretty unusual. <laughs> they don't really make the old plastic cups the way they used to. Mm. Um you, you're not sure if these have been reused or not. <laughs> and he comes over and slaps down a few more, splops them down. There you, you don't go. Didn't really back, right? We didn't really think this through. How are we going to carry all this? <laughs> <laughs> all on one tray. Actually, you know what? Look, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to chug mine and, and finish okay. mine now. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> you just yes. grab it, it, splashes all over your hand, and uh. you start downing it. Uh, it's obviously a homebrew of some kind. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. I would not say great. it's probably on par. Well, okay, I can't say it's not bad if I'm going to call it Coors Light, but it's about. You know, <laughs> it's great. about. It's 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 just one step bro. above piss water. You can just kind of start. Um, but after you finish that down, the suds go down the back of your throat. You set down that empty cup, and you're like, "That's one we one okay. less gift to carry back." Sorry, <laughs> I, I I will mercilessly mock American that's, beers. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Um, um, not, all micro, 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 micro. not all. Of them. Not all. Not all. I don't That's understand true. that reference. Yeah. When you prohibit alcohol on a ship for over a year, this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. It takes the episode three. It's like, are we getting drunk? We're going to get drunk. We're going to get drunk. Oh, we're going to get drunk. We're going to get drunk. We're going to get drunk. There's something that I need to hear. Beer's like water. It's fine. It's nothing. Beer's like water. Under fire. Beer in the harbor is. <laughs> I feel like my dad, when I was in high school, like, if you're going to drink, do it here and then just, you know, be, do it in the home. Do it in the home and be safe. And, yeah. Yeah. Hops so is a whiskey drinker. Crazy. This was nothing. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're down one cup of beer now. Sure. Um, uh, That's he, one less to carry back, you see? Do you want another one? He just, as he sets down another one, says, all right, yeah, all right, you're my kind of drinker. He sets down another one <laughs> and another one, and you have your full complement of beers. All right, can I carry them all? Do we have? Do you have like a carrying tray? Or oh something? yeah. Uh, I've got plates. <laughs> that doesn't. Okay, really three on a plate, them. three on another plate. 
Oh, oh, dear. oh yeah. Well, we're gonna... I've worked a lot of jobs. <laughs> Can anybody else yeah. see the fan art coming? Yeah. <laughs> and then I have all of the stack of 15. Yeah, but funnel okay. cakes. <laughs> so like, as soon as we get out of sight of him, if that's okay, I'll just sort of effortlessly grab the stack in my loose other hand. Okay, like, so... Oh, that's right, because he's strong. You get, you, he loads you up with the funnel cakes, watching you kind of like, okay... It's, it's not, this is not a strength check. This is definitely a dex <laughs> parody. <laughs> this is, you, this is a circus act. <laughs> you are piled up with 15 funnel cakes. Yeah, let, let, me, um, let me carry something, Jesus. Now, some of these are getting squished on top of each other. Um, yeah, that's fine. But, I'll eat a flat one. Uh, all right, uh, uh, yeah, you, can, you know what? You take, I'm gonna have you roll. Please take two and I'll <laughs> take the other 13. <laughs> okay, uh, so Cass. <laughs> Uh, roll this, roll save versus funnel cake. Yes. You are going to be. Uh, th- I'm. <laughs> Does Oya like funnel cake? I would know this. Requires your full attention. Oh, I'm going to set the like difficulty here at three. Yeah. Okay. And this is going to be a quickness check, a dex. So your dexterity, your your. Uh, so for instance, acrobatics. The which is specifically a dexterity power shift uh, skill. Funnel cakes are sold yeah. at the circus. Like balance. Oh. Yeah, you need you need balanced acrobatics. But yeah, this is like asking a world class <laughs> gymnast, can you balance twelve funnel cake or mm. uh, fifteen funnel cakes? Yes, I bet just exactly. because they you could. Can, just because you can tumble really well. Mm. Yeah. Yes, the principle is getting is centering things over the center of mass. It's sure, balance skill. but can be you know achieved when you have no practice thing, right? in balancing fifteen funnel cakes yeah. in your arms. Mm-hmm. What's that? I just you, gymnasts specifically do balance. <laughs> Famous ace gymnast. <laughs> I'm just saying, as I'm, well, I'm but it's saying, also a fine motor as opposed to gross motor, so I it, see the counter argument. It, it's a bit of a stretch for me. <laughs> no, that's but. <laughs> um, and I use my <laughs> mathematic skills to make sure so the angles here, are perfect. Just, just to here, let here, you know, here's what I'll do. <laughs> okay. Here's what I'll do. What I'll say is, um, I, I will, I'll say this. I'll say acrobatics will count. Um, Thank you. So I'll give you, but you've got power shifts in that, correct? Well, essentially, I have the training in acrobatics because of the dexterity power shift. So oh, I even see. if you said it specifically didn't apply, you still I get the... probably would still get that dexterity guys, power okay. shift. Guys, we got to pick our battles. We're trying to balance <laughs> cakes. <right? laughs> like, is this the debate? Is this what you want to debate yes, why you're going to be a good influence on Cass. Uh, but you're not here right now. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'll, I'll, and I just chugged a beer. I'll give it to you. I'll give, you, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you because I think... <laughs> this is going to be really funny if I fuck up this role. I mean, I, screw up. I'm I sorry. Think, I think for acrobatics, in, in, the, in terms of cipher, I think it works. I okay. think if you were going to get any further, it'd be a specialization in like juggling or something like that. In this sure. case, <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to sacrifice. It's always fun to deep dive into the XP rules. For you. Um, okay. But rerolls. So um, <laughs> this is important. All right. So go ahead and make your roll. The difficulty is three, but you're reducing it because your power shifts. I'm reducing it by one with the power shift, so and two. I'm going to put some effort in there. You're going to effort. I am. You kind of have to try to keep okay. going, yeah. Aaron, if we are not fed, we won't do anything. But yes, you're very hangry, Aaron. True. You've never seen hops are hangry. Yeah. Brains run on glucose. Yeah. I need a three or better. You need a three or better. Fourteen. Yeah! yeah. Cake. The cakes are saved. Um, you hear a knocking at the cake. back of the uh, drop ship about 45 minutes later. 45 minutes? Oh, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Um, when it lowers, you watch Cass walking in, a very smug, triumphant look on her face. As she walks in, the place, the smells of funnel cake fill the interior. I'm of, doing a slow oh, count okay. behind okay. her. Okay. Wow, At this point, I'm holding two um, funnel cakes. I was going to say. I put them down. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I had to applaud. Cause What's that? Yeah, I'm uh, laughing with the cake. So at this point, Oya has... Um, basically, like she was working just on the mini screen, and then she she's kind of exploded it into a bigger monitor, like mm-hmm. holographic mon- monitor that's 3D. So she's like kind of in it, and uh, she's built a pretty good sketch of the room and the device, and Kylan Krauss in the corner, and um, so she's in the zone. She even has some music playing, some soft music playing. Okay. So she's like kind of in a lacy. Similar to Lacey, like she gets in the zone when yeah. she's mm-hmm. designing. Who is also in the zone. Okay. <laughs> Aggressive. So what, what I'm going to do is instead of having you roll, what I'll do is, is when you roll to get the final product, we'll remember that you did this pre-work and I'll let that count as an asset. Great. Mm, thank Perfect. you. Um, and I know this mode, so I just slide a funnel cake on the ground towards you. Oh, great. And I just kind of... <laughs> so while all this is happening, we're going to cut to Raft City. Joe. 
Joe walking into <laughs> Raph City. Luma Joe. <laughs> Joe. Joe. Um, Joe. Sea air on a bald head is a weird feeling. Oh yeah, it's, it's it is so definitely. It's really cold. Mm. Oh my gosh, it is. I did not think it to mm. chop all my hair off. Like I in a November, you tried it to was such a bad me. life choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Luma. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, Rap City, it is dark here, of course, but the, we got the lights. everything is lit yeah. up here on the sides. Um, you're walking down the central corridor, the area, the, the, essentially the long corridor that connects a lot of the aspects of, of Rap City. Sure. Just, um, people are congregating outside of their houses and having conversations. It probably has something to do with the agitation, mm -hmm. but you can hear a lot of people have started to gather outside their boats I imagine and a their lot boat of houses. People are missing right now. Um, you're, you're seeing... Are any um, of them caught like at work on the mainland? And what you're actually seeing is that, yes, it has probably has a lot to do with the protests and stuff, which yeah. are now going into like the next hour yeah. and have no signs of dissipating. Um, and um, lots of Rap City seems a little stirred up by this. Sure. So as you're kind of walking down, you're noticing everybody and you, every now and then as you're... <clears throat> hey, Joe! Hey! Afternoon <laughs> and evening. <laughs> And you continue walking. <clears throat> um, Uma, keep it together. Nailed it. Nailed it. You start approaching. <laughs> you actually begin to approach your mm -hmm. your place of residence. Sure. This large boat. Mm -hmm. um, now, remind me, your boat used to be a two-master, right? Or it used to be a massive ship? And, or it is a uh, massive ship? No, it, it's not a massive ship. It'd be like Masted. A Oh, masted. Yeah, does it yes, have a mast? Yes, No, no, it's the double-decker <laughs> okay. sort of, like, houseboat okay. kind of yeah. deal. Specifically with the, like, designed just, garden. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Marina um, Del Rey. And gotcha. It's got, yeah, it's the flat top that you can go on. There's, like, a deck up there. Okay. Um, what are you doing? But there's a... Um, As you approach. <sighs> um, <clears throat> what would what, you do? Uh, okay, um... um Joe uh, Are you still I, Joe? Uh, yeah, I'm still Joe. So I guess I'm I'm gonna go up to the side and sort of knock on the railing. The moment you do, the doors flung violently open, <clears throat> and your mother immediately steps out. Goes, "Hello, oh. mom. Um, uh, uh, evening, Marina. Joe. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a minute?" What's going on? Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Don't worry. Do you mind if I come in? I have a, I have a, I have a couple notes from your girl. My girl. Yeah, Luma. What's What's wrong with Luma? Nothing's wrong with Luma. I swear. I promise. I promise. Um, I just uh, uh I have a message, and you know, if Aminko and um, and Ruben has are around. Has she found? Has she found Luca and Marco? What? Has she found Luca and Marco? Is this about Luca and Marco? What's wrong with the twins? They're missing, Joe. Have you seen them? Um, Has Luma seen them? Uh, I, I, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. When was the last time that you saw them? This afternoon. Can I have the letter? Yeah. The, well, the, um, this is Lacey. So it's for Ruben and Amico. Is Lacey with Luma? Yeah, um, uh, Lacey's chair, chair, did you chair got uh, uh, broken, and so they're 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 hauled they're hauled up. They're safe. Don't worry. Where? Um, just on the outskirts. Where on the outskirts? They're they're in the harbor. Where in the harbor? Um, Joe, where are my children? Uh, I don't know. I want you to go back. You find Luma. You tell her to come home right now. Take that to Lacey's parents. I don't want that. Okay. Make sure Lacey's okay, too. Okay. Uh... You see my children, you tell them they call me immediately. And she slams the door, stomping back into the boat. Uh, run to Ruben and on my house. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, they're both out on the deck. Yeah. Um, one of them has a hollow vid up of all the rioting and all the news, um, Amiko's mm. leaning forward and just looking at it going, I can't believe this. When was the last time the city was like this? Have and you seen, have you seen the boys? Jesus, <laughs> you see Ruben just goes, <laughs> Joe, Joe, you are too big to be that quiet. <laughs> just a lot of practice, you know? Sure, what is that? Uh, it's a letter from Lacey, um, th they're letter. fine. Yeah, 
Amiko stands up. No, no, don't worry. They're, they're with Luma. They're taking good care of her. Um, they, they just, um, they're going to be, they, I don't think they're going to make it home tonight, so they wanted, I saw them a little bit earlier, and they said to give this to you. Okay, make a roll. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so here's, here's the complications I'm going to yeah. throw at you. Worried parents. Yeah. Handing and I'm them a terrified. letter from their tech whiz kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> being very vague about where they are and specifying that they're okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna set the difficulty of this. And also, I don't care that much about lying right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the difficulty for this is gonna be four. It's gonna be difficult. Okay. Right. So, but you, if I remember correctly, Luma, are, have a lot of- I have of pleasant social, social interactions. Yeah. Yep. So <laughs> those will absolutely apply here. Um. um <laughs> <laughs> I literally have a skill to always have pleasant social interactions. <laughs> I have yep. the opposite yep. one. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Excellent. I'm not I good at wait to see you being two charming. Um, Me neither. Um, <laughs> Yay. Diffi difficulty is four, so we're going to reduce the difficulty. Um, okay. You have a skill, and do you also you have the specialization, or is it just a skill? Just, just a skill. Okay, so difficulty is three. Um, you need a nine or better. What did you roll? I rolled a two. Okay. So I'm, that is, I'm that's, freaking out. That's what it is. <laughs> um, my brothers are missing. missing. You this are is okay. just a little shaken. Yeah. Um, so you see, um, basically, he takes the note and goes, Joel, what happened to Lacey? Uh, hey, you can tell me what happened to our baby. Where's Lacey, Joe? I promise, Lacey is doing amazing right now. Joe, they, they, that's not they, what I, asked you. I know. Um, they, they, they messed up at the convention. Okay. What um, do you mean they messed up they, at the convention? It's, it's they, um, uh, they, they just didn't do what they wanted to accomplish. Um, what are you seemed, not telling me? They just seemed a little upset. I don't, that's all I know. They seemed upset, but, but, okay. come on, Luma's with them. Yeah, They're yeah. fine. Okay, it'll be fine. Just take me to them. I don't, I, they weren't, they weren't, they're, they're, um. I'm going to get my things. I, he I, turns around and Amiko just goes, w what do you, baby, what, sh what should I do? Do I stay here in, in case they call? I'm, I'm, I'm ducking them out. You run? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Do you even know? my dad. Know? I, I just need a second. I can't. Yeah. No, yeah. Your back is turned. Both of them are not watching you. Um, I just kind of, I do the thing where I literally duck behind the boat wall and okay. just like collect myself for a second. Um, it's not the first time we've done that. Okay. And yeah. you're going to run? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. uh, not yet. I'm not running. Oh. This is my, this is my, I'm Joe, but I need to Luma for a second oh, and okay. I'm just going to hide. Okay. Okay. <sighs> um. um. All right. Did you leave the note though? Oh, no. I'm gonna GM intrusion. Yep. That's fine. Oh. Yep. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw the gear yeah. yeah. turning. Me too. I was like, what is that? I'm gonna face? do a GM intrusion right now. Okay. Um, so you have the option if you want to spend an XP to stop me. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me what you're doing first? Or is it like I have to stop it before you tell me? I am going to have him spot you as you duck down behind the wall. Um, oh. So. He's basically going to see you duck down. Okay. What's going to happen next, if this allows to happen, is he's going to run over to see what you're doing. Sure. And catch sure. you changing. So. Mm. I'll um, spend the XP to stop that. Um, <laughs> she's going to. I wasn't turning back into Luma. I meant I needed like a minute to feel like Luma. Ah. Like, I needed to not Drop be being Good thing to Joe. specify with the shape. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I guess I, yeah. I didn't mean I needed That's to okay. be Luma. Okay. I needed to f physically feel like Luma's body for a second, which, but, which might actually change me back anyway. All right. I, it's you know, all in my brain, GM, and I don't I'm gonna, know. I'm going to GM intrude on something else. Sure, okay. Um, and, and on this one, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Sure. Um, um, I'm going to not change this. Make because, a perception oh. check. Okay. Do it. We're gonna make yes, Joe wanted so by the A deception? Authorities. Perception. Oh, so Perception. Intellect check? Yeah, he's going to jail for kidnapping. Oh! Wait, what? Sick. Real Joe. Don't you put that in the world! Oh, Joe! Oh. You gotta break coming up, oh, you gotta get shoot. this going. Okay. So, uh. Deception check, the difficulty is going to be uh, two. No, so no. Six or better. I don't. Oh, a six yeah, or better. Yeah. I do it. Okay. Um, so you duck down. I duck. And you hear the, the talking going on overhead. It's just Joe, and like, then, 
hands wrapped around knees, just going. Think, this think, is all think, happen. Think, this think, all think. happens all at once. So as you duck down, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking. Immediately on your augment display, you yeah. see this happens on occasion. Think of it like like we get in real life, how we kind of get amber alerts on our phone. Yeah. You see immediately a red light flashing as an emergency pops up. And on the TV behind you on the boat and on your visual display, you see an image pop up of <clears throat> um, a man, mid-40s, reporter, you've seen many a times before, um, and he goes, this is Nigel Barnes of LA KSAT News. We have just detected that in three minutes, due to seismic prevention, there will be another earthquake <laughs> in the next three minutes. If everyone could please assume the safety positions and check water supplies. It is estimated at 6.0 <gasps> at five feet at five miles depth. Hide your meal. We'll be arriving in the Los Angeles area in the next three minutes. Ooh. Do we all get and this alert? Uh, yes, sorry. everybody's getting this alert. Instantly pop and up. As you and the moment you pop up is you hear the report keeps going and it says, "Hold on." And we're also getting news of protesters, and it cuts to on the live feed. Um, as the two dads are talking, one of them turns and goes, hey, 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 isn't that, and points to the TV screen. On the screen, oh no. as you see a countdown clock to the earthquake um, that has oh, been detected. Morbid. Um, the countdown clock is ticking, and you see a radio tower. Old LA radio tower. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's being filmed from overhead from probably a hovercraft or yeah, helicopter. Yeah. Um, Protesters have climbed on this radio tower. Oh, um, shoot. 200 feet tall, this radio. Ooh. It looks like a TV tower, I should say. So it's like a small it's Eiffel like, Tower. It looks like there's been, Yeah, and you see multiple rows of like catwalks going up this thing with ladders. But at the very top of this thing, it looks like it's been jury rigged to be uh, like a hangout spot because it has this large flat. Um, this thing is old. And the zoom in you hear as the commentary is running of people who have gathered here and you see them holding up signs, fuck the corporations. You see your company is bullshit. You see <laughs> all of these like protest signs, people setting off fireworks and your breath catches as you spot your two brothers <gasps> on the ledge of this two things shouting and flicking off the <gasps> helicopter news feed right over the countdown clock of the earthquake. And uh, we have to go to break. Uh, oh my uh, gosh. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, they are so dead. <laughs> oh. Mm. Which, by the way, early detection systems exist today. Yeah. And our, the earthquake we just had, uh, coincidentally, also gave us three-minute warning. Oh, coming. really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. wow. Believe that? Very cool. Pretty interesting. Okay. Yep. Three minutes. We didn't get that out on the news. There are so many. <laughs> but seismologists, yeah, yeah. Per, seismologists detected it <laughs> at a five-kilometer depth and were able to tell that it. Wow. That it was, they wow. didn't know the size of the earthquake, but they, mm -hmm. they detected the shock waves. In 100 years, that. though. Yeah. They'll know the size. Yeah. They'll be able to get it down. They were able to detect it. Yeah. <gasps> Science is magic. Okay, but did one of your companies engineer this earthquake to kill a bunch of protesters? I don't know. One of my I will <laughs> yeah. find out after the break, you guys. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. So stay tuned. We're going to be back in about 10 minutes, and we will see you then. I need a cookie. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, back from our break. Uh, how y'all doing? Good break. Good, feeling, yeah. feeling good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feeling not stressed out at all? I didn't move. <laughs> uh, I stayed right oh, yeah. here. I noticed that. Yeah. I did not leave. I didn't there. leave. <laughs> it was the first time. <laughs> right. wow. I'm ready for the second half. <laughs> uh, before we jump into the second half, I just want to give a quick shout out again and thanks to Sona tonight. Um, check them out Yay. on projectalpha.com. You can use, oh no, where's my thing? Um, so the code to use space. for Sona is space. Space. <laughs> for a 60 day free trial to Alpha. Um, Does everybody here have an answer to that question? Would you pick Home Planet or like Alien Love of Your Life? That was the that was the mm. the the premise, right? That, that, what was that? that, that they have Home Planet or Husband? Oh yeah. Home Planet or Husband. Husband. Tricky. Ma yeah, I think it would be love. husband. Love. <laughs> it's hard. Home yeah. planet is like, no. If you choose love, are we talking about Earth gets... 2018? Wait. Or are we talking? Wait, right. Does that mean your planet gets destroyed, or are you just not gonna be there? Okay. Oh, good question. You can never go back. <laughs> like I could. That's no. the easier. We decision. have to watch the show oh, to okay. find out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> watch Sona. Right? Watch Sona. Watch Sona. You're right. Um, at least well done. Real quick, yeah. some clarification that I've been needing to give out on the, the the merch situation. It looks like I messed up in one of the descriptions of the merch. It is in fact coming soon, and it's okay. not in the store yet. Oh. Oh. 
so, you can order um, Dorothy. Is it so send your hate mail to Nick's pre-order? Is it pre-order? Yeah, pre keep it. Yeah, to to the track. <laughs> Sorry, keep it tuned. That's an Eric keep hate mail. I know. <laughs> Your hate mail no. is bullshit. Yeah. Your hate mail is bullshit. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good at deleting. Uh, I, I grew up in the internet era. I was like, I was back in the old days of AOL. Uh, uh, it's still a museum? Okay, Do get you? out. What? <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> I am Lindy. Oh my God. <laughs> I, like old I still um, have an AOL email address. Does really? Still yeah. Work? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's email. Wow. It's AOL. I have, friend, timeless. I have friends who still use uh, Hotmail, so that's not as bad as AOL, but it's oh, not that AOL is bad, but you know what I mean. Cool. Okay. Get back to Luma's Brothers. Uh, yeah, I got some, I some have people concerns. to hug and also kick real hard on the tuchus. You yeah. got mail. Okay. <laughs> Gina's breaking out the language. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm busting out my mom's curse words. This is bad. Uh, there's a countdown timer on that clock, and you yeah. see... If you could try to, if you need, if you need a movie reference, do you remember uh, Independence Day, the first one where everyone's having a party on the roof underneath yeah. the alien ship? Kind of the same thing. A bunch of people have no idea that there, there's a countdown that has started on an earthquake, and they are at the top of this old-looking tower. Mm -hmm. Again, about 200 feet tall. It's an old TV tower, for, somehow still standing from old Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, the tower itself, what you can see. Um, on the captions, yeah. is the tower looks like it's actually not far from here. Um, the yeah. tower itself is located uh, just north of here, in fact, in uh, Palace Perch. Palace Perch. Palisades. Oh. Palisades Perch. Palisades oh. Perch. Palisades oh. Perch. Okay. It's about four miles north of where you are right now. Okay. Um, um, and you're two miles from us? I'm two. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry. Um, so I had stood up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna run <laughs> as fast as humanly possible. How fast? And I mean run? that. I want strong legs. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> uh, and as I'm running, just it's a it's a quick. I don't even care about the dads right now. It's just I'm gonna go get the boys. Okay. Mm. And as I'm running, because I'm sure that they saw Luca and Marco at the bike at the base too. Yeah, right? they are completely distracted. Yeah. They're, Pointing at the TV and just going, I, I, isn't that? And as I'm, uh, yeah, already right. running, just getting the boys. Shedding the weight of Joe, you, yeah. you shrink back down to Luma? Yeah. Okay. Just take care of that because I'm just, oh my run, gosh. I can't even believe what down. my mom's doing right now. Um, so go ahead, and this is a, this is going to be a straight up, this will be a quickness roll. Yeah. Specialist. Specialist um, in there. Mm. I'm going to say, I'm going to attach a cost to this since sure. you're going to try to run as far as you can. Yeah. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to say this is going to cost you three points in might. Mm. As a physical trait, as a, to, to reflect the stamina that you are. All right. Yeah. Two mile, two mile run, as fast as you can. Yeah, four. Uh, you are, right. uh, yeah. To the tower? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Four to the tower. Four to are the you, tower. Oh no, you're I'm going, not. Going. Where are you going? Oh. Uh, I'm not running to the tower. I'm running back, to, back them. to them so oh, we can get, get there. Oh, wait, the ship. Uh, I have a ship. Yeah. Yeah. That makes uh, we have a ship. Yeah. I need more help than that. There's yeah. a lot of people that are about to fall on a tower. Yeah, oh. that's, a, that's a two mile run. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I'm gonna have you make a check real quick just to see how fast Luma's moving. Now, you have an impressive speed rating, if I'm not. I do. So okay. tell me, tell me what Luma can do. Uh, so I have movement, acrobatics, and speed defense. Mm -hmm. And um, do you have a and do you have a power shift? In yes, the I have okay. a two shift. Okay, so then. <laughs> oh man, she's so quick. Two total. She you have an off. athletic. You have athletics. I do. Right? Or acrobatics. Acrobatics. Okay. <laughs> um, speed shift two. All right. So. And yeah, I have movement shift two and acrobatics shift two. Um. Then we'll just say this. I'm gonna just have you pay the cost for the might roll. Okay, done. So um, it's not a successful check to find out like, oh, does she run fast enough? You literally push your body to its limits. Yeah. Um, Luma, you're not sure how fast you're running, but the wind is blasting past your ears. Um, you're running fast enough that the people who spot you as you run down um, the pier of Raft City, that they don't seem to recognize you. Yeah even though there's a white shock of hair that blurs past them as you're taking off. You're probably running 
about the same speed as Usain Bolt is at his apex during a quick sprint. Yeah. And they catch <laughs> a have, brief it's, glimpse it's of the, the light yellow light from inside Mohoda is just streaking past. Yeah, you probably, <laughs> yes, you probably look something short of a light cycle from Oh, Toronto. no, wait, I'm wearing your coat. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's you are wearing, so that thing is flowing behind you, whipping in the wind. Um, you you are probably running about as fast as the fastest human being that's ever been recorded running. Wow. All right. Um, so there's <clears throat> shape shifting happening, right? With, What's that? With, with I'm, her leg I'm, dropped I, her I, shape. I, I dropped my shape, but I'm I'm manipulating my legs to be more muscular. Cool. So yeah. cool. <laughs> now in the future, we'll be able to take we'll be able to take abilities that'll actually mirror that. That allow you to do superhuman running, like right. you'll be able to do. But right now, right now I'm you're able to metabolize your body in such a way that allows you to chew, haul ass at incredible speeds. You tear out, you clear the pier of Raf City in moments. It takes you about 45 seconds to get from your house to the end of the pier. You're running at incredible speed. Um, but um, there's a part of you that probably is checking oh. in and been going, "Oh my god, I." Oh know no, I fast. taste blood in my mouth. <laughs> Okay, um, so we're gonna cut back to you guys, mm -hmm. um, finishing off the last of the of the uh, funnel cakes. Oh no, there's still quite a bit. I got a lot, mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's some for Luma. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot. So of you guys are back, and all of your alerts go off, and you get the news. This is Nigel Bur Nigel Barnes of LA KSAT News Channel Four. Uh, we are just now receiving word. Uh, from seismologists that there will in fact be an earthquake in the next three minutes has been detected at a depth of five kilometers um, just underneath North Los Angeles. Um, the range of the earthquake is being determined, but right now they're estimating a 4.0, I'm sorry, a 6.0. A sizable earthquake, uh, a sizable, uh, a very sizable earthquake, folks. Um, looks like, North of Los Angeles, that's correct. And we are coming to you live now. We have a feed of some of the protests that are happening. It looks like a lot of the people on the streets right now are being urged to clear out. With a three minute warning, it's gonna be very difficult to get to get all the people down there cleared out. Um, we're gonna go to you live on the streets now and you are all watching this as it comes up and you see, you see this person jacked out in like a vest of military fatigues and whatnot, sort of like it's old style, out of use now. It looks like that digital print that uh, that used to be used back in the late 20th century. Um, and uh, it's kind of vested, it looks a little tactical. It's obviously punked out with spikes and stuff coming off of it. And uh, you see one of the news reporters goes, I'm here on the street, oh, right, excuse me, Mix, Mix, can, I'm sorry, can I ask you, um, are, who are you out here protesting today? And the person just turns and goes, fuck the corporations, we want our city back. We deserve to have our city back. And people are hearing this person shout, come back and fuck you. And like everyone, it's getting really rowdy. And at that point you see the reporter go, oh my God, there's gonna be an earthquake. There's gonna be an earthquake. She starts shouting. Oh my goodness. Nobody is listening. Oh my gosh. You see, you, it cuts back to Nigel Barnes in the, in the studio just going, we have aerial footage right now. Um, can we get that on screen? You're now watching footage live. It looks like there's a protest that is happening on top of an old radio tower just north of Raft City. Uh, we're gonna take you live there now and then you see the images come up and y'all are just watching this wrapped as everyone's kind of getting ready for a six point earthquake to hit. When the images come up, make perception checks. Oh. Uh, yeah. Ideal um, meal. Cause it's a blur as it's spinning around. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna set the difficulty for everybody um, Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Before you make a perception check, I think oh, just good. Lacey is gonna make this roll. Yeah, yeah we wouldn't know. Um, Lacey, mm. make the roll. I'm gonna set the difficulty for you at three. Okay. So um, nine or better. And I get one asset, so I'm down to two. And then I roll. 18. 18? Yes. Um, the moment the screen comes up, the first thing you see are the angry faces of two 12-year-old boys. Look, I mark, okay. Uh, I, I just get up from where I was on the floor next to my chair and I start getting to fire up. Which one? The, the hovercraft. Uh, Which one? The, the, those, are, those are Luma's brothers. Oh no. On the tower? The yeah, little, the we, have to, we have to go, we have to go now. Luma, Luma, Luma. 
<laughs> and can I be there? Yes, you can. So I, you just hear the, the back door opening. Tell you what, um, if if you, the, the, the way this is gonna time out, you're yeah. gonna have, they're gonna have to meet you halfway. Oh, yeah. okay. Because it's a two mile run, so. Um, you you, so you just you're panting. I can't speak. <laughs> just the, 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 Matt, I saw the twins. We're gonna pick you up. We're okay, gonna get them. Okay. Okay. And the duck. Right. And she just collapses at the end of the dock. Okay. <laughs> like when she she stops moving, and when you stop moving from a full run, and the legs just turn yeah. jelly, and she just collapses you've, at the end of the dock. You've cleared Raft City. Yeah. I'm at, yeah. I once I hit land, it's a f- drop to the ground. <laughs> All of you begin to realize something as the ship begins to shudder and getting ready to take off. As you're, as the intensity of this moment is happening and you're watching the footage and you're kind of looking at each other, shoving things back into a place where they won't slide around, everyone getting ready to hold on as Lacey's getting ready to lift this thing off, and each one of you catches yourselves looking at each other because deep down inside, you don't know how, you don't know how, but you all know exactly where Luma is. Exactly. You can just feel her. And you don't, it, it's this sort of like pinpricks on the back of your neck. And Lacey, it's not anything, you're not using your power right now. You don't have a triangulation on where Luma is, but when you start taking off and this ship begins to shudder and lift off, you realize you know exactly where you're going. Yeah. You know exactly where you're going. We don't need this. Um, <laughs> Luma. Yeah. You can feel them getting closer. I can, yeah, I can, yeah. Like a, watching someone's GPS come towards you. Yeah. Um, so, Lacey, make a piloting check. Mm-hmm. Um, difficulty here is going to be standard, so I'm going to set it at two. Okay. So six. That... It's going to drop it so you don't have to roll. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> the dropship takes off. Um, you're watching that countdown timer hit two minutes as you guys... So, Luma, you've managed mm-hmm. to clear the dock and get to the end of the dock, but your yeah. body is just... I'm just... <laughs> knees, legs that way, <laughs> hands on the ground, um. just, like, trying to stabilize and stand back up. So you're catching your breath, you're looking up into the sky, just waiting, and even though you can't see it yet, you can feel them getting closer by the second. Um, all of you, that sensation just growing stronger. And you can feel Luma's stress. <laughs> You're aware of it. Oh, yeah, is this a spirit thing? I don't know. Maybe that's what was in that canister, like a spirit. Now we all have it. Five, six, five, 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 four, two, three, two, two. Lacey, can two, you one. call Luma's brothers on a secure channel? <sighs> Try. <laughs> You access the telecom sense. Uh, you access basically Nigel's telecom system. Um, yeah, I'm I, I'm calling for okay. freaking brothers. Okay, get off. It's get just off. up in the corner of your vision on the augmented display as you're flying this thing. Um, you see that you have connected to both of them, and you see signal not found. You see the connection, and it's like a dropped call. Right next to a tower. There's no reason that I shouldn't go through. That's not a cell hole in, in, in the map. I, I don't know why. I don't know why something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. No, nope. I need to fly. I need to fly. I need to fly. Luma, you begin Seven. to hear the distant Seven. roar of that dropship closing in fast, and you can now see the blue glow of jet engines at an angle, as it's kind of flying in. Can I lean out the bottom? Yep. Um, Grab yeah, you're gonna you're yep. gonna open up the back. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Oh, huh. strong, stretchy boy. hold melty. Hey, stretchy. Hey, stretchy melty. boy, you should go Pick grab him. our friend. What? What's happening? Wait. Uh, you know? Open up the back. Sure, open up the back. I see it. I, I the door hear it slides opening. open. Cold wind blasts in. <laughs> Hand outreached. Okay. Can't quite stand. Got like the, the Bambi legs. <laughs> okay. And just. All right. Um, Your hair just. Blasts up and whips around you as this dropship's hot wind suddenly contrasts with the cold night. As this thing kind of shadows over you, just shh, And as it kind of slides to a stop, you notice it's not touching down. And then an arm arcs out of the back of this thing, stretching down almost 20 feet to where you are down below. Shh, you see Anton leaning out of this thing, stretching his body to the limit as he just reaches down for you. 
grab the wrist. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, this is oh are you around wrapping around? Yeah. Oh, well, then I go to grab the wrist, and it's just long, long, long okay, got wrist. Her. Arm grabs myself, and then... Oh, okay. Arm around that. Go. All right. Oh. Go. Okay. Oh. Cast pulling on you. Um, <laughs> so for a second, so, Anton, for a second, you're like... Okay, I think I can get her. Oh, and Cass just pulls you, and you lift right up off the ground. Yeah. Like a feather, just whoosh. Um, you reach up to the, the ramp and just start pulling yourself on. Um, and the door begins to close as you see Luma boards the ship. You guys are 25, 30 feet off the ground, and you basically did a pickup. Tracy, how much time? You've got about 45 seconds. Before the, ah, before, before the earthquake hits. I want like a permanent countdown, just yeah. like slight Pops over. I absolutely open and her up. Yeah. Okay, and that hey. feeling, that feeling of Luma subsides now that she's here. Mm. You just feel it kind of subside a little bit. Um, you are closing in fast. Four miles is being cleared pretty quickly as the jet just kind of takes you all at full speed. You accelerate to about 300 miles an hour, keeping this thing angled. Yep, give me that mock. ETA, you're Did probably going to arrive just a few minutes after the quake. Did you get a hold of him? Maybe maybe one full minute after the quake. Uh, why can't you get him? It's not fast enough, it's not fast enough, it's not fast enough, it's not fast enough. I need help. Where are they answering? Faster, faster. Somebody help me like focus faster. my energy or uh, something to do with time thing, I don't know. Um, oh, okay. Maybe I can like slow down or, or speed us okay. up or something. Uh, do remember you do the breath thing that you always made me do whenever I was freaking out. Yeah, let's breath. Go, okay, let's go faster. Let's go faster. Okay, I scoot up next to uh, Oya and I say, "Try breathing with your diaphragm. Mm -hmm. Two in, one out. Two in, one out. Find the rhythm. Close your eyes. Focus on nothing else but yourself." I used to hate this. And try to tap into it. Just try to tap into it. A B C D E F G. Um, you're watching that countdown clock. Click, 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 click. Can I try to? Speed us up, or slow, or slow everything down. else down. Something. That's a tall order. It's a very tall order. You yeah, can no. try to try. speed you guys up. We have to try. Or that's slow. a little more. We'll that's, slow. That's, slow. So if you're trying to slow things down, then you're talking about on slow a slow world, world. Or, or at least the, the earth. Guy. But if you guys want to speed up the, yeah, the, that might be possible. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna set that at a difficulty. Uh, you're inside of a jet for everyone. Um, or at the very least, get a vision of what's going to happen. So oh, we where we should where land. Go or not land, but yeah. To effectively. Well, first, let's try Oh, the, yeah. Can I just see? Try. Can I see? Um, get a yeah. premonition. Like if the tower's yeah. going to fall. I'd like or... to get a premonition. So spend one point of intellect. Okay. Yep. That's edge. That's for free. Yeah, I do have Oh, that's edge. right. You have an Perfect. edge one. So you, you get that for free. All right. Um, in that case, I'm going to have you, this will determine how detailed it is. Okay. So I'm going to have you make a difficulty three roll All an right. intellect check. Left hand rolling. Ooh, 14. Right. 14. That beats it. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. You're like, what can I do? What? And then you start thinking about. Well, you don't know what you were thinking about because you immediately slip into a vision of the future. There's a bunch of echoing voices around you. Um, and you can feel this surge of energy inside of you. There's something you're not tapping. There's something you're only just kind of understanding. But if this was a metaphor for how you're looking into the future, it feels like you're just running your fingers across the surface of smooth water mm. for a second. You're only just getting a glimpse. Um, you get a flash of the earthquake and the tower buckling and beginning to slide. However, it doesn't fall. It looks like the building next to it catches it. And then everyone on board, mm. nobody falls. Okay. It looks like everyone is successfully grabbing a hold of it, but you watch as a power line explodes above it. And it starts coursing through the entirety of this thing. Oh. Looks like everybody on the platform is safe from the power corsage. It's not that this power is not channeling through the entire tower itself, but the bottom and the top is a live wire now. Um, centered around where they are, it looks like the materials that were used to build whatever the hell this platform is is somehow insulating everybody from being shocked and electrocuted to death. So this building that's next to it, which is essentially looks like the power, maybe the old control room that's half crumbled, actually manages to catch one of the edges of the tower and keep it from falling but you know it's only a temporary fix and that the clock will be ticking. That is likely what exactly you're going to arrive to find. 
So, okay. So the top of the tower is electrified and the bottom as well, but not the platform. It looks like the platform, nobody seems to be undergoing any kind of electrical shock on the platform is, itself. Is Mark Wilnuka on the platform? Or Everybody's on the, on the platform. Oh, okay. So there's no people like hanging on to this, people the, on the tower. tower they are hanging on the tower. The, 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 this platform that's been built on top <clears> of the tower, it looks like it is, it looks like this tower has probably been modified multiple times over the years. Um, it looks like people have tried to use this for hangout spots, um, maybe places to get away from other people. Um, it looks like catwalks have been built around the side of it. It's probably been attempted to be repurposed for a while now because it was sturdy enough to survive Sea Day, yeah. apparently. Um, however, this earthquake looks like it's gonna do it in. The tower, <coughs> the platform where everyone is at is roughly 170 feet up. So they're up there. They're up, they're up towards the top. Oh, wow. So Jeez. while the platform that they are on is safe from the electrical current that's gonna be flowing through this thing, they the rest of the tower is not. Yeah. They will not be able to get down. Okay. Um, and you're watching that timer click down. And then the sh <laughs> you come back to the present. <laughs> roar of the jet engines <laughs> and everyone talking over each other is trying to I, figure out what they're going to do. I saw something. I saw that the tower is going to fall over. Uh, not what? all the way. It's going to be leaning on a building when we get there. And the top and the bottom are electrified. So we need to evacuate electrified. them. Electrified. Because they can't climb down. Okay. Ooh. So we're going to need to just go straight there and evacuate them. A, that's amazing. H how many people are we evacuating? All of them? Oh, yeah. I I'll tell you that. Um, there are... A total of just 12 people on top oh, of Oh, 12. There's 12. <laughs> yeah, there's 12. And my lucky brothers are amongst Two them. of them are your yep. brothers. They sound like good kids. <laughs> of course you would say that. Uh, right. Well, you can good spot the, you can spot the tower but sure. up. Okay, I'll well, we can there. We can do 12. Get ready, get ready. Remlins. Incoming, incoming, incoming. Okay. Come on, okay. Rome's there, Rome's there. Okay. Rome's there. Lead the way. Okay, Someone's, what's, what's yeah. on the ship? Uh, lots of weapons. Weapons? Is there like... Lots of machine guns. Rope? Ro like yeah, like like definitely like a hook uh, thing. I would say, I would say there would definitely be tactical rope. Yes. Okay. There, I mean like those like wi like metal wire cables with the hook. You things. attach to those your those things. You attach to your harness and jump down out. Yes, there, there is there is tactical rope here used for combat drops. Repelling kind combat drops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Repelling those gear. things. There it is. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, oh. going and attaching myself to one of those. <laughs> okay. okay. You guys fly in. Um, yeah. Just as you watch the counter click. Zero. Um, it takes a few moments. It's not a precise science, apparently. But eventually, you do see the reactions of people on the ground. Watching an earthquake happen from the air is a little bizarre. It doesn't look like anything obvious is taking place at first until you see the upset of dust and the scattering of people. People running for cover, people dropping to their knees, people doing lots of stupid things that they think will keep them safe in an earthquake, but typically do not. Like, you know, for example, hiding under tables doesn't really help you. Um, um, but you do see people getting under cars <laughs> and just instinctively backing away from pyro power lines and getting close to things like that, getting farther away. Um, you watch with a, a bit of nausea mm -hmm. as the tower goes <sighs> And from up here, you can only imagine the screams of everybody on top of that tower as this 200-foot pyramid of iron and steel begins to tip slightly and then catch. And then the night lights up. Just like Oya described, to the T, a white flash that lights up the entire night. And when that happens, Hops, you immediately feel mm. your skin tingle from the presence of electrical currents mm -hmm. nearby. Almost like you're reacting to its presence. Uh, you all watch um, for a split second. Hops just kind of stiffens up. Um, Hops, there is enough electricity traveling through that tower right now to do some serious damage to somebody who touches it. Yeah. Um, in yeah. game mechanics, six points of damage per round you touch this thing. Whoa. Whoa. That's um, a lot. <clears throat> if they, so if, okay, because. Okay, how electricity works. Say, for example, you have your car and a, and a wire falls on your car. If you have to get out, you have to jump out and not touch your car or the ground. The electrical current will go through that. My dad taught me that. But I'm, so if we get them out, if they touch anything else besides the, flat, the platform at all, they will get electrocuted. If uh, they touch the... the hops. Yeah. Also, getting too close with the drop ship could be hazardous. Crap. It's entirely yeah. possible. Okay. 
there's there's so many variables in the current and what's causing yeah. the explosion. It's entirely possible that lightning might leap, that electricity might actually find a conductor through the wings of the, of the plane, it which may not... Happen. It, yeah. What's that? Ships get struck by, or airplanes get struck by lightning. Yes. Like, Ships with open doors and people jumping on board, yeah. not so much. Yeah. Okay. Is the, So if you said the power line fell. Is there the other half of it somewhere? Um, You don't see it. Crap. What, it, it's, it's, in fact, I would say make a perception check as you guys are closing in. Now it's dark, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you an asset. Because I can feel it. You can feel the electricity coursing. So I'm going to make this a perception check with a standard difficulty for you. So it's six or higher. Okay. But you get an asset, so it's going to be three or higher. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. So the difficulty drops by 13. one. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, the electrical current is coming from under the tower. It looks like it was a cable oh. network that actually led into a tower. And judging from the, the electricity that's coursing through it, um, it was probably an old cable network. Okay. Um, whatever electricity that's... it's it, This tower has been reused for so many different things, it's impossible to tell why it's hooked up to so much power and energy right now, but the earthquake seems to have caused a split, and now this whole thing is a okay. giant light bulb. Oh, okay. Um, okay, and I don't really know my powers or anything. Like, I, I couldn't, like, touch it and, like, absorb it to keep... Oh, crap. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Um, all pops, all you know, <sighs> all you know is that there's an element channeling through the metal of that tower right now that you have a history with. Okay. Wow. Somebody do something. Okay. Um, um, I'm gonna say it at this point, you guys are in range. You arrive on the scene. Okay. So, we can't get too close. We can't get too close. We can't okay. get too close. So how do I, how, so I can't rappel down then? If you touch anything but the platform, you, you're gone. Right. If I jump. <sighs> You'd probably can, make it. And land on the platform? If you land on the platform, if something happens to where you break the platform, yeah. then oh. everyone platform's, falls. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Okay. The platform looks pretty stable. Yeah, okay. But, okay. Can you, you, can you, can you, okay, we can't do the this, and I unhook the metal cable. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. chuck it um, on the ground. Can you lower us down the same way that you lifted me up? If and he touches what? anything I don't know. other than the platform, we just have to be very careful. You remember, do you remember What's that the wind like old outside game? right now? It's whipping. It's you guys, whipping. Yeah, you guys are you guys are generating a lot of it. Okay, yourself. well maybe I can just make I can I can maybe I can make myself really heavy, like really dense, so I I, I weigh us down, and we can you know anchor anchor the the rope of your arm, mm. so that we can I don't know. Okay, okay. I just know that we need to get down there fast. Did you see what we did? No, but I can, I can try. Just. I don't know if we have time. Come on. How high up are we from the platform? I can remember it's, where we need to be. It's I mean, like we're right too close. Right now, you've just arrived on the scene. You haven't gone in for an extraction, so I'm saying you're about a hundred feet away from the top of the platform. But Lacey can bring you in. I'm it's like that to... old game. Oh, that so really, it's okay really... then. The like getting too close. Like no. Lacey was saying, um, it, electricity is not going to really futz with you guys too much. Sure. But with an open door and people trying to get onto the platform, yeah. y it's risky. Yeah. So the plane will be fine. If electricity jumps off of this of this tower and hits the plane, you guys should be fine. But for the people who are trying to board the plane, it could be hazardous. Sure. Okay. It's like that really, really, really old game. Um, my... My grandma had operation, the operation. We can't touch anything but the okay. platform. Then we won't. Okay. okay. So we need precision. Can I try to look to see yeah. if I can get a premonition? Um, you can try, yeah. <laughs> you can certainly try it out yeah. and see if you can get it. Um, I'm gonna have you, you, well, you get it for free, so. Uh, I'm gonna set, since you've done this once already, looking back into time, uh, I'll set the difficulty here at four, so you'll need a 12 or better. Okay, I'll do that breathing thing again. <sighs> <laughs> Got a two. Oh, <laughs> boy, it, you're, I think, okay. You're not able to calm your mind enough. Uh, For some reason, it's just not. Nothing. You can feel it there, but you're just not able to tap into it. I don't think I'm good enough at this time thing yet. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no. Maybe close. it means that it's not written yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, what if I throw them? Throw who? The people off the platform. 
I don't know. What if you miss? You I missed with the dumpster. That's true. That's a few feet true. away. You throw okay. a better idea. You throw a catch. Someone, just do something now. Okay. Uh, you, me. Let's oh, yeah. get lower down. I can All give of you us. some guidance on your power. If yes. You it's, <laughs> here's the thing. Oya has the ability to... She is learning that she has the ability to manipulate time. Right now, it's on a micro scale. Mm -hmm. But you also have hedge magic. You also have the ability to do all these other crazy, interesting little There's abilities. Something. Here's the thing. It's entirely possible that if you throw somebody at this platform and it looks like it's not going to land right, oh. so pull them back a few seconds and try again. Whoa. Okay. If it's, but you'll have to do it. <sighs> And you only get one shot if you're going to do it, but it will give you, as in D and D speak, it would be an advantage on the roll, essentially. Okay. So, um, I have an idea. I have why, an idea. Why couldn't we use the cables? Not the metal. metal. <laughs> if it as soon as it touches cables, anything. Um, have you ever seen Hunter October? Do you remember when they were lowering him on the cable to the submarine, and how he was swinging all over the damn place because of the, uh, wind. the wind, and then he touched somebody and shocked the guy. It's the same. The reason why you can you can use that cable to get down there, but it's going to be tricky. Now, can one of you get supers, me down you to might the ground? To I need. I want to get down to the ground. I think I can get a lot of us down there, and then I can start pulling people back up while you guys maybe round people up. And maybe you can find out no, where I the feel... electricity is coming from, and maybe turn it off. <sighs> maybe. Okay. Maybe. Here's the plan. You're our backup in case something goes wrong, but right now, I'm gonna lock my legs into some kind of a position up on the ship in between some bars or something, like coil them around, like locked okay. in, tied into so a pretzel. I need you to basically, roll you to the ground. Basically, you just wrap your your legs around one of the, uh, <sighs> blanking on the name, the, the essentially the, Handrail. Like a pillar. The the or, thing that uh, I'm totally blanking on the name, but the thing that basically holds lets the door open and support. close. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, it's sure. Yeah. And then I'm going to reach my Pistons. arms and try to grab hops, Cass, and Luma. That's a lot of people. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're so, gonna but, grab all of us? Yeah. Uh huh. Are we all going down to the ground? Uh, yeah. The ground or the, the ground? ground? The platform. The, 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 whatever. The, I'm going where the to the ground. Are. I wanted to go to the ground. First Lower top, me down to the ground. Second top. Send ground. Hey. Her first. I Turn off the down. electricity. I want to get down to where the electric current. The ground is 200 feet below you right now. He can do it. No. <laughs> oh. There's can the yeah. cable do it? 200 feet. Can the We're cable on do live it? news. 200 feet. 200 feet. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to have Lacey drop you off. I'm taking this. So you could do this first, okay. and then have Lacey drop okay. you off, or you can have Lacey drop you off and then do this. But you can't. You're gonna have to. Take me to it. Take me to the ground. I'm gonna try and figure out. Feel I don't know something. I maybe I can turn it off. I don't it's, know. I don't know how simple. this works. Okay. Yes. Right. I do that. All okay. right. So while this is happening, you guys can you begin to up. descend. Right. Um, you do catch the spotlight of the news copter flash across the top of the plane. Wow. You guys head down lower and lower. Um, Anton, you wrap yourself around the side, and as you guys are getting close, you're about 15 feet off the ground, and, okay. and hops. You just pop down. Yep. Pops. I'm just gonna pop up. It's like go get them. All right. I'm gonna the try. moment your feet hit the ground, yeah. people have scattered. Some people are kind of peeking out. The light from the spotlight of the news co of the mm -hmm. newscraft is kind of like highlighting a bunch of people that are looking terrified and looking at you, kind of confused. But the moment your feet touch the ground, even through your boots, you can feel it's. Where way, is it coming from? Think of it like the way Lacey feels machines whispering uh -huh. to each other as yeses and nos. You can feel the distant hum of power coursing underneath your feet. Ooh. Um, okay. It's a live line that's been destroyed. You can tell just by standing here. Where's the opening? Where? It's it, the, the, the depth. You're not going to be able to get okay. to it down below. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take my, glove, my gloves off. All right. You just look up as you watch the... Uh, the dropship immediately start gaining elevation again. You tear your gloves off. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, I want to grab the um, the metal post and see if I can channel the energy to where the electricity current will stop at that point and not go up into them, so they can have time to get the twelve people off. Okay, you're Hopefully gonna be I'm, the short circuit. I'm going to be the short circuit. I'm gonna be the, the power oh. surge. You hands shaking. Terrifying. You can fighting the impulses. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to do this, but what would your history with the energy that you're about to deal yeah. with? Um, you reach out and people are watching. You hear someone shouting, "No, don't touch it!" And you reach out and hops. You grab it. Yep. There is a nova of light beneath all of you that lights up. Oh my god. Lacey, 
you have to blink the white light out of your eyes for a second. You get sort of a retina burn as this like shocks for you. You level off the ascent and just hold for a moment as you kind of like blink it away. I lay a filter over my contacts. It yeah. falls down and you can. There's a retina. This this multicolored retina burn in front of your your eyes it's slowly beginning to subside. Down below, hops. You are holding on to this thing, mm -hmm. and your whole body is lit up in a white light. <laughs> you sound like an exposed transformer that's about to explode. Okay, you got better. Energy <laughs> is coursing through your body. Okay. Energy that would kill a human being 10 times over. Okay. <laughs> I also have endurance. FYI. You don't have to roll. Okay. You're grabbing a hold of this thing and the grass around you ignites into flames Whoa. and you just hold it. <laughs> Lightning splaying off of your body. Um, the power that's coursing through you, Hops, it's, it's indefinably, it's unworldly. For a few moments, your body is converging with one of the raw elemental properties of energy of the universe. <laughs> and you're, you are a conductor for it. <laughs> um, <laughs> for those of you still tuned into the news who have been watching this whole thing, you hear the newscaster go, oh, holy man. shit, did you see that? Can you get a zoom in on that? And then the, yeah. the feed begins to scramble a little bit. Um, Lacey, you get back to altitude. Um, you can see quite well right now. Um, looks like uh, the light that's being shown down from down below, it's lighting up everything. So you're not having to rely on the spotlight or the jet engine light or, or anything like that. I'm gonna give you guys full illumination now. You've got a big spotlight underneath you. I'm the Illuminati! <laughs> so, the Illuminati. Uh, Illuminati, if you're watching, please do not take that seriously. Oh yeah, um, no. No. I'm not oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, this is healthy. <laughs> oh, we're on the internet. Oh, yeah. what a no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so what are you doing? Let's go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just do uh, one quick check in with Lacey. Yep. Uh, head to uh side and just I'm going to get him back and then run to you. Okay, let's load up people. All right. All right. You got him. Um, I don't think I've ever stretched this far. Let's First off, is this working? Did I make it work? Is it, it, We're going to find out. I'll just say this. that You have... you. If the, the, amount of electricity that you, is the, it? the amount of electricity that you channeled when you gained these powers sure. is nothing compared to what you're channeling right now. Okay, just hurry. So you're not sure if it's working or not, Okay. but right now you are amped the hell up. Oh, yeah. Um, so, all right. So, Hector, I'm guessing you're just going to throw the front part of yourself out of this plane? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna be stretching at my uh, stomach. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, that okay. will give that will give the rest of you guys an easy controlled jump because he's gonna get you over half the distance that you need to, to jump there. Mm -hmm. So what you can do, Anton, is once you make that leap and you stretch down, you can stretch out your arms and drop them. And it'll be, I'm gonna give you guys uh, two boosts on that one That's to the difficulty level. Yeah. Two boosts. Um, and Anton, what's gonna happen next is you'll just swing underneath this thing yeah. unless you want to two want to try to jump over there if um, it's if it's possible if if i can stretch this far mm -hmm. the idea was to while dropping them off gather some people that need evacuating maybe luma's brothers and bring them back up to the ship Drop first and pick up and then keep doing that while they get some some people that need to be gathered oh good question can you be a bridge mm. <gasps> i can try i can try I don't want to break you. I've been other things. Maybe this will break me, maybe not, I don't know. I don't if Lacey we... holds this plane still, you might be able to do that. Okay. Okay, well then maybe my lower half will stay. Okay. All right. Oh so. my god. Okay. Oh boy. Anton, I'm gonna have you make a roll. <laughs> okay. Um, this is gonna be quickness, so it's gonna be, this is gonna be your speed roll. Yeah. Um, do you have anything that might help you here? Do you have athletics? Do you have any kind of... Yoga. Physical attributes. <laughs> yeah, yoga. yoga would be handy. Yeah. Um, I would like to encourage you. That's one of my things. That's one of her I things. I would like that too. That. Uh, oh my God! It's nuts. the tables have turned. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. I'm the captain yeah. now. Sorry, I'm still holding on to them. All right. Uh, I think I have, like, jumping, and climbing. Oh, but I don't know if I set that up right. Oh, great, good. I oh, yeah. That, oh, good. Well, I don't know Did why I would. Did you take a strength shift? Yeah, I don't put it, know. Put it under. I don't know. 
Okay. Yeah. We, I'm not sure. I let's, don't. let's have Sam look at after this. Let's have Dr. Sam take a look. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, I know that I'm good. Dr. At Sam's gonna fix persuading y'all. Persuading in public speaking. I don't think that would help. And you might be able to actually calm them down. Sure. When they're trying to crawl across, if you want to try to do that. I'm very I'm sure good people at that. Will um, love so here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. We're gonna make. Um, this is gonna be. I All would right. like to put some effort into it. Though. Okay. So I'm more, and you're already technically put you back I'm, into I'm it. encouraging you, so you reduce <laughs> the difficulty anyway. You okay, should be great. specialized so in yoga, I would say. So. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, but, but, if you're but like this, a is this speed or intellect? This is gonna be speed. Speed, right. I'm gonna so say um, this is sort of an agility thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have no edge, so but because I'm putting effort into it. Spend three points out three of points. your speed. Done. And it'll drop the difficulty, and then I um, get do, and then I get Luma's encouragement. So does that also drop the difficulty one? Tell me what that does. Uh, uh, it um, uh, while I maintain this ability through ongoing inspiration, uh, allies within short range modify the, modify the difficulty of one following so. task type. Okay. By one step, defense attack task related to any skill that you are trained in or specialized in for the action. Mm. Are you skilled or trained in anything this action? Somewhere in the climbing, no, running, jumping section, like, there has to yoga. be some Luma like, is yoga. skilled in acrobatics, oh. then by encouraging oh, uh, so Anton, oh. then oh. he can so like modify so. his role down by Who one. needs to be skilled, her or I? Both? Uh, technically you do, but, oh, okay. but I'm going to say, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. The difficulty here is going to originally have been uh, four. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lower it to demanding and make it three, but um, I'm going to allow Luma's encouragement to affect you in particular, uh, Anton. Yeah. Um, as you're swinging out of this thing, yeah. mm -hmm. somehow you're able to anticipate what it is that Luma's trying to do using the momentum of her swinging her legs and using that momentum to sort of meet that the momentum. Yeah, and uh, uh, as she's just sort of like holding on to you, she just kind of gives like you hear her uh, voice okay, finally got steady. Got it. Got and it. And gives you just um, just like the smallest like desperate thank you. Okay. So go ahead and make a roll, and I'll set the difficulty for this at uh, two. So it'll be a standard difficulty. You just need a six or better. Spend effort. I already did. Yeah. Oh, cool. Dope. That's that's oh. what brought it down. Yeah. Oh. oh. Whoa. Natural crit. Was that twenty? That's the first one. The first one. Oh, I just got. Yeah. Nat twenty. <laughs> the bridge of love. Yes. All right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so. I'm holding my. Yeah. Broad. Um. Oh, okay. Great. So. Um. Yeah. You. <laughs> you get your points back. That's but right. It's, it's like right. the least exciting thing. But, but, it is. but Amy's right. You actually, you actually do in my, get yeah. in my speed if you pool. Crit. Yes, yeah. great. If you is roll a natural crit? twenty after you spend no. effort, you get the effort points back. Great. It's one of the great because it was effortless. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry. All right. So yeah, swinging out. You just time it just right, and as you are launching forward, you unfurl your arms and send your friends hurtling down, landing perfectly. I mean, I'm picturing Cassie, Cass doing like a three-pointer. You land, down. and I do yeah, a our quick first... roll, and okay. then a stop. It's our first superhero landing. Yeah. <laughs> um, just as the landings happen, you as you unfurl and the and the the momentum is beginning to pull you back, Anton, you wrap your arms around the railing just instinctively. Ooh, ah, okay. Wrap it okay. around the railing and no electricity courses through you. <laughs> ah, it's working. You just hold it. That's a heck of a Good job, Hop. That it's working, but it's working. Okay. Visually, 200 feet off the ground is a drop ship with a man stretched a good. 40 feet off the side of this yeah. thing. Your Legs, arms, torso, hurt. wrapping it around. You um, have one arm wrapped out and you can outstretch the other to get people. Okay. Um, as you roll to the ground, you come right up into the face of your younger brothers and Luca just goes, hi. I just grab them by the necks, kiss them both on the face and drag them across Anton's okay. body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marco just goes, how are you doing that? Shh. No speaking, yelling later, and lots of kissing. One. Um, they write, so the two younger brothers immediately come over to you, and everybody begins to crowd around you guys, realizing that it is an escape effort. 
And the moment that happens, I'm going to use a GM intrusion. Yeah. Uh, I want to use a, an experience Ooh. point to counter that. Deny me. Oh, I deny you. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Denied. Denied. You spend an XP. Yes. Um, all right. Good evening, everybody. This is a rescue effort. Um, <laughs> I will be your uh, stretchy rescuer. I have some kind of supernatural abilities. Don't be alarmed. I am making my body as safe as I can. We're going to need you guys to walk across, OK? Um, yeah, don't worry about him. Just come. OK, flat um, and wide. Give me one sec. Oya's going to uh, walk out onto his legs, I guess, and just be the, the back the back end guy. The back end on his <laughs> <Sorry>. back end? <laughs> Hey, if See, somebody you, trips you're and usually falls. Front yeah. end, <laughs> now, now you're... Yeah, front end developer back. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Lacey's keeping it stable, keeping the ship. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry if you fall. We think we can catch you. Everybody, come this way. Come on, oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> Give me one sec, guys. Talk amongst mm -hmm. yourselves. Lacey, steady as okay. you go. Up so I, to the three of us are the first people walking across you. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to. I don't know if this will work, because I don't know if it actually changes my mass, but I'm going to think light thoughts. Okay, it's 2 XP, sorry. It's not 1 XP. To oh, counter, XP a, to counter, counter a GM and Done, no Zero. problem. All right, Does counter. it have to be, just for the future, could it be like one here, one there? Like we can, can we combine our GM um, and GM? No. No. Okay. It has to be from one good. person. Good yeah, because I was like, I'll donate an XP. Yeah, so you don't right. same. <laughs> you. I completely cool. forgot. There's no complications yeah. this round. We're, we're gonna yeah. help people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, Hector. Can you carry two? I'm giving you the XP that I banked from accepting his GM intrusion earlier. Oh, yeah, you're supposed oh, okay, to get, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, Thank you're you supposed to give her helping. one and, and yep. uh, that's correct. Yeah. And she's yeah. supposed to give so one. Get, I get correct. one and I'm giving you mine. You should get two XP and, and right she now? can hand you one. Yeah, that's I'm just correct. keeping yeah. track here. So you keep one XP. Nice. Sweet. Nice team play. Flat Yay. Flat, 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 flat. Um, <laughs> so, okay. Hector, you, you, uh, you, Anton is calming them down. Anton is, like, they're looking at you going, what, what do you want us to do? This way. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I turn around while stepping on your shoulders, I guess, uh -huh. and just say, follow me. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> turn around again. So to get them across the outstretched Anton is yeah. going to be, everyone's going to have to basically climb on him like a rope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people start oh slowly, God. one by one. Man, I wish I was advanced enough to make stairs out of my body. Oh. <laughs> those higher tiers, But I man. don't think I am. Yeah. Back it's to a this rope. season three of Callisto 6. It's yeah. a rope. Um, <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anton, strange sensation, kind of wobbling a little bit as people are crawling across you. 12 people. One by one, they're coming across. Your brothers are just yeah. Okay, okay. They're okay. good climbers. Um, your one of your brothers is trying not to look down. You guys are 175 mm -hmm. feet up from the ground mm -hmm. right now. So, um, but Luca, they're all moving across. He's afraid of heights. Um, um, people. Uh, hops. Yeah. Uh -huh. I need you to spend. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this with cost now. Okay. We're onto what would essentially be like the third round of what's happening. Oh sure. I'm yeah. gonna have you spend three points of might. Okay. To stay doing what you're doing. Oh. I do have endurance. Um, Any duration dealing with physical actions is either doubled or halved. Okay. So one point yeah. five might. No, um, I don't know what that would. How do. does rounding work in the cipher <laughs> system? It's kind of. It doesn't get really. I was just really trying to cheat. Um, <laughs> no, actually, Hops, that's actually a fair point. I have endurance. If you, if you specialize in endurance, mm -hmm. I feel like that should come into play here. Sweet. Okay. So why don't we do this? I'll have you make a roll. Okay. And I'm going to have this Probably difficulty start worse. scaling for every round that you are conducting here. Okay. So I'm going to start it at a difficulty three. Okay. But you've got endurance, correct? I got endurance. So you can drop that to difficulty two. Two. And I'm going to use... What am I going to use? Effort? You, it, uh -huh. effort? you can spend effort if you want. Do it. I have edge. You have edge yes, and might? might? Yes, I do. Yeah, okay, I do. then spend two points in might, and that'll drop the difficulty to one. You'll need a three or better. 19! Minor oh. effect! Oh, is that? Oh. Minor yeah. effect, okay. Yay. <laughs> Minor effect only in combat or also in Yeah, it's only in else? combat. The 17s and 18s are combat, uh, oh, 19 and 20 is. Oh, got it. 19 go. and 20. So you got a major effect with your 20. That's right. Did. Which I was probably you not getting electrocuted. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, uh, it was, uh, in, in the case, in, in not you don't always get the effect. If it's not necessarily narratively appropriate, you can, though, if you can come up with something yourself. Mm -hmm. In this case, you got back your effort points. And you, I let me put it this way. I'm using your major effect 
Hector, to not have everyone roll as they crawl across you. Oh, Ooh. nice. Amazing. That's really good. Uh, yes. Because it would be, a, I mean, 175 feet yeah. up. I well, know, I'm yeah. terrified of <laughs> mine. I, yeah. I haven't gotten used to this yet. <laughs> um, <gasps> Bonnie, so with Hops scoring a 19, uh -huh. um, what I'm going to do is next round, you don't have to roll. Great. Ooh. Go, everybody, go, go, go. Just channeling that electricity still, holding on to it, lighting up the night. I mean, you can probably be seen from miles and miles away. I'm just thinking about my dad. Um, yeah. So. It's okay, Luca, don't look down, don't look down. Just listen to my voice. Okay. Luca. Just look at look at your brother. Okay. Look at your brother. Okay. You just keep saying okay <laughs> yeah. when you're not. And one by one, everyone starts getting over. Um. Lacey, is there any point in having you make a piloting check? It depends on what the difficulty is. Um, Probably you're keeping not. this thing steady. You've got Hector's character latched around to the back of this. Anton is trying to keep steady as well. Mm -hmm. People, um, difficulty would be four. Um, then yes. Okay. Difficulty is four. Piloting check to keep to keep the boat stable, as they say. Okay. Right. Um, do my powers help me on this? I would say yes. I would say that your ability to, to link with the computer is actually making you intuitively aware of exactly where the horizon is and how to keep the dropship leveled off. Probably wind and levels and everything. So in that case, I retract my previous statement. There is not a point in rolling okay. this. <laughs> Um, let's put it this way. So, Lacey, as you're holding the stick and, and trying to keep this thing steady, you begin to realize the wind picking up and all of the people, the variables are increasing every second and it's becoming harder and harder to control it. And you stop for a second and you just let go of the stick. And the, and the dropship goes It is holding perfectly steady against the wind, the crosswinds. It is stuck in place. Um, yeah. uh, you, one by one, are moving across. Let's see. Um, Hi, good evening. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Um, the last person this across, last person oh, across no. walks up to you. The last person that, that, the last person to come across you comes up to you. Bigger man. Mm -hmm. Very oh. large cybernetic arm. Oh, no. Wires coming out the top. And he looks at it and goes, this thing hasn't worked in a while. Uh, it, it's fine, sir. Do you just go ahead and walk across unless you walk with that arm? No, but if I've got to crawl across you. I got wait. you. Can I yeah. set you up in fireman's carry? <laughs> Don't even roll. <laughs> you know, I got yeah. him. He goes, what, what do you mean? You got me! And you <laughs> pick him up. This guy probably weighs about 275, oh. and with a heavy cybernetic arm, maybe more. Casual. Cast a you. couple yeah. of funnel cakes. Mild, yeah. mild, mild, mild. I've like, oh, yeah, he's got some heft on him. You put him up on your shoulder. Um, and you start crawling across with him? Okay. <laughs> As, as you're crawling across with one arm and a guy dangling, and the guy goes, holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit, how are you doing that? Holy shit, you know, don't answer, don't answer, just go. Doesn't matter, just go. There's beer on that spaceship if you want. Um, this is the fanfic that I want. Uh, you have a resistance of one, correct? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use that as a discount here. I'm gonna say spend two points of might. Okay. You've got about You've got close to 400 pounds right now in the center of your body mm. and Ooh. the strain on your limbs as you're trying to keep this. I mean, really, if your limbs were not wrapped, there'd be no way you could hold this grip. And you're just sitting there. Um, and then at that point, Anton, you hear, you feel, nobody else, not even, not even Hops at the bottom of the tower is aware. But as you feel them going across, oh, no. you feel the tower shudder. <gasps> oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh my god. It begins to rattle. Oh yeah, does Oya see this? Do you want to try to see this? Yeah. Are you trying to use a vision? Well, okay. no, no. Uh, I'm, you want to spot it? I'm at his socks, basically. Oh, okay. Watching and helping people like get that last grip on. Make a perception ship. check. Okay. I'll set the difficulty. There's a lot of light. I'll set the difficulty. Standard is a two. Okay. And you're down to one for your asset. Oh, that's right. Oh uh, yes, that's mm -hmm. right. I have uh, anticipation. Is that no, your contacts? Oh my contacts. Oh, you know what? The contacts wouldn't come into play here. Oh. I, I do okay. have anticipation, which is minus one difficulty for first task in a round. This is not the first task in a round. Is it? It is kind of, right? 
I mean, we're not really in a round yeah, structure right taking... now, but I would say I would say yes. Okay. Because you say, haven't taken... It's the... called anticipation, and you know this is an unstable tower. You've probably been waiting for something like this to happen. I'll let it apply. <laughs> eh, eh. Eh. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and make your roll. Difficulty was going to be two. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no! I shouldn't have done anything. Is that a one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no! I should have just done huh. literally nothing. Oh, no. You managed yeah. to call out to Anton just as it starts to happen. Anton! Anton, you hear someone shouting at you, but more importantly, down at the base of this tower, Hops, you feel the you feel the metal underneath your hand buckle suddenly as the weight of the tower gives in on itself. Oh crap. You look up just in time, and as you look up, you get thrown back. Oh. Can you, I scream to Anton to let go? Um, you are Anton. in mid-flight. You slam into a car behind you. Um, don't take any damage, but you kind of drop down. Yeah. Anton, take six points of might damage. Oh, as the electricity courses through, and your grip on the railing tightens considerably. Is oh, everyone yeah. off of him? Yes. Okay. Everyone, you like just as you're helping the last person, Cass, you're literally pulling up the guy with the arm when you see the tower begin to fall, and you begin to see the, the electricity spark at the top of the tower again. And Anton is not letting go. Can I run to try and grab the grab, grab the tower again just to give him um, a, a with second. yours? You know what? You have speed. I do. I have fast. Mm -hmm. I you can, have fast. I can do a, a short distance and still take another action. That's right. Same round. You sure yeah. can. Yeah. You, Plus, I'm really amped right now. <laughs> you rush over and just, just grab a hold yeah, of it just again. Grab it really fast. Um, Let's go. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and enact your minor effect here. Okay. So you're not gonna lose any points. Okay. You immediately channel the electricity back into you. Okay. <laughs> Anton, you, you your roll. body aches, but you feel the ability to, you feel that you have control of your muscles again. Go. <laughs> as you swing loose, Anton, it's disorienting because at first, as you're swinging away from the tower, the tower's distance isn't changing. Whoa. And the rest of you are watching the tower oh. begin to fall towards the craft. Hey, Lacey. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm letting go to, by the okay. way. Oh, no, wait, I yeah. can't, because then it'll electrocute the thing, right? No, you oh, can let go now. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, shh, the dropship pulls forward. Anton, your body starts to pull itself back together. Um, you're all watching. It's like a chase scene as this tower is collapsing. Lacey uses the three dimensions of a flying craft and just banks to the side as this thing. <laughs> you've let go, Hops. You take yeah. a few steps back and watch, um, and this tower just. <laughs> Huge explosion of dust and debris, popping sounds of electricity, shocking out in every direction. Is Hops gonna get hurt? Where's Hops? What you see at the bottom, for those of you who can watch as you're kind of pulling mm -hmm. away, the adrenaline rush looking down to see what's happening to your other teammate, the exposed wire of the electricity lances out in every direction, spiders out and just <laughs> begins to surge into you, Lacey. <laughs> uh, sorry, Hops. That's all right. Um, Hops, oh. the electricity finds you again and, and begins to just course through you. Can I pull it off? Um, yeah, you probably do. Could. I want to? Is it feeling good? What, what am I? What um, it doesn't feel like anything at the moment, but right now oh. you're kind of going Dragon Ball Z. You're just like, <laughs> okay. Just this whole aura around you as electricity. Is there again. a way to like turn it off? Is there a way to like, I don't know, like maybe I can put a shock back into it and maybe like close the wire, like. Um, something like you might be able to revert. To it? Yeah. Yeah. Like close it off. Like, well, you know how like it's a loose, it's an open wire. Oh, where, like, close if the I get, circuit. Like, close close the circuit. circuit. Yeah. Something like if I can like shock it back. I don't know how electricity works. Actually. Hops technically. Yeah. Hops, you technically have control of electricity. Uh, you might try telling it what to do. Ooh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um. I just be like, stop, 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 stop. Um, we'll make this a roll. Okay. Um, so what do you roll for your electricity ability? This is exciting. Intellect. Like, a, like In Oh, attack. right, like shock. Intellect, right, yeah. intellect roll, yeah. All right, so you're trying to send 1.21 gigawatts. Yeah. Right back into. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Um, we should travel through. Oh, the I could dope. use my shock. Could I, would this be like almost like an attack? attack? I'm kind of oh, treating it like an needed. attack. So yeah. I'm gonna set the difficulty <laughs> for this at three. Formation. Okay. So you need a nine or better? So it's a demanding roll. Okay, but with my shock, it's a negative one difficulty. Okay, so now the difficulty is two. Standard six. And <laughs> power dance. 
<laughs> okay. There was a distraction dance. There is now a power dance. All right, I can do I this. Got the power. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Great. Nine. Yeah. In a fair. Nine. 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 <laughs> so close. Yeah. Um, hops. You're just like, what do I do? What do I do? Go away. Go away. Go away. And you put your hands out, and the electricity goes right back into the ground, and and the night gets completely quiet. There's just the only thing you can hear right now overhead is the roaring of the drop ship and the patter of wind being struck by the propellers of a news helicopter that has recorded everything (laughs) with a spotlight on on both of you. I would like to acquire one hops. Okay. Wait, am I safe to touch? Am I safe to get on this ship? You're looking at your hands. Uh You do not feel the power coursing through you right now. Okay. Maybe can I touch something just to make sure, like a car or something next to Yeah, the car you slammed into, it's a few feet behind you, you touch it, nothing's happening. You ground yourself. Okay. I'm like, just like making sure. Yeah, okay. Um, Luca looks you in the eyes and goes, that was so awesome! You're so, my gosh! And just like leaving all of the kisses all over their face. So stupid, never do that again! You're being a jamma! And I'm just, yeah. I'm love, hate, yelling at them. We go full circle. (laughs) Um, Ironically, they will be grounded because they weren't on the ground. (laughs) So grounded. I'm kind of tempted to be like. Um, (laughs) Anton, you're kind of like, you've stretched back to your normal, your body has taken a hit. And as you've stretched back to your normal length, you see 12 people huddled together looking at you in amazement. And um, just just like shocked to see (laughs) your body hurts. If you can imagine a workout, but every muscle in your body has that exhausted, burned feel, and oh. your mouth is completely dry. And you're, you're just, you, uh, all I you, got is beer. A um, <laughs> little bit of beer that hasn't sloshed out, just hanging at the bottom of the thing. Um, the dropship no, touches Marco. down to the ground. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the dropship touches down to the ground, and Hops steps on board as the 12 people begin to run off, uh, save for the brothers who look at you. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> no, you stay put. You don't tell anyone. Uh, I'm not saying anything. Okay. Neither am I. Okay, good. Go, go, go. Just stay right here. Just sit right here. Okay. Ramp comes back up. Hops, you okay? Are you okay? You yeah. okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You took a yeah. lot of That was crazy. You're a goddamn hero. No, I was a light bulb. Did you see me? I was like, whoa. Yeah, you were glowing. <gasps> whoa. Like, I could, like, I don't know. Let's go do something. This is fun. Whoa. I, had, I, like, swam in a pool of Red Bull. I know the first thing we're doing. We're dropping you two off. Yeah, we Oya just did something. Is Red Bull a thing? <laughs> I swam in a pool of it. Oya, as the thing is pulling away, you're having sort of, like, echoes in the back of your mind of the events that just happened. Um, and you're seeing all the different ways that could have gone down. Oh, my God. And they are not pretty. You seem to have found the best way. Um, And there's no doubt in your mind, it's because you were able to see how this was unfolding. You begin to see everything line up, and the one area, think of it like Doctor Strange looking for all the Uh ways to beat Thanos, it's kind of the same thing. You kind of have this echo flashback, and you begin to realize that in one of these choices, in one of these moments of you telling them what was going to happen, set things in motion that allowed this to take place. This was the scenario that allowed everyone to make it out alive. And you're kind of sitting back looking at everyone, just like everyone's run out and as the plane takes off. Have a good the, night. The news, <laughs> have a good night is this thing kind of, <laughs> the, um, the door closes. You're a good man. Glad you're here. Good work. Um, interestingly enough, the news helicopter does not follow you guys. Hmm. In fact, it begins to lower down and starts touching down on the ground. Where are the people? They were they, all dropped they, off. We just, when they went, just when you guys picked up hops, yeah. y'all were all dropped off. And is the news copter near them? Uh, yes, it looks like it's touching down on the ground near the people who were. Um, we there's still the a live feed, by the way. You can see the news. I know. You can still see the news if you want. What does it say? Um, 
you hear somebody in the background going, they're, they're, they're flying off. Do you want me to follow them? They're like, no, no, no. Let's get an interview with the people. Let's get an interview with the people. That is probably not the last time we are going to see them. I need, I need, I need quotes. Get us on the ground. Get us on the ground. We'll never catch up with that thing. Get us on the ground. Oh, that's right. Oh, my God. We, we might need to talk about getting disguises. Lacey, can you? I know it was live and all, but can you go in there and do the thing with the... It I was everywhere. I name. Just what? Name. Oh no! I what? Did, I said your name. You did too. <sighs> yeah, it would have been helpful to have code names. Sorry. <laughs> and disguises. Like we need to do this Next the right time, way. Make sure you call we, him Melty Guy. That uh, would have been better. Guy. No. No. We need mm. to get you better clothes. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> These are you're like yeah. the Luma? Hulk right now. Luma. Yeah. Are you a superhero? No. <laughs> Yes, she just goes, is. She's a superhero, dude. Oh my god, we're okay. superheroes? Y'all are superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Yes, I am, and you can't tell anybody about this, remember? Okay. Okay, so, okay, so, um, like, like the things that you read, this is a secret identity now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're you're in on this. You're 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 part of the you're part of the troop. Yeah. You got to be quiet. You like um, you like uh, what's it called? Um, um you know uh, the mo not the mockingbird, the little uh, the um chirp. Oh. Hummingbird? No, the little Parrot? bird. That, that, Robin? Yes, the Robin. You like? Is that is that what it is? I didn't read that one. Oh, like Batman and Robin? Yeah, you guys like the little Robins. <laughs> Right? Is that how it? No. I think that means that they work be, with us. You want to be the little Robins? They just smile at you. Oh boy. And everything in their little twelve-year-old smiles tells you they're gonna tell everyone. It, they're gonna <laughs> tell every goddamn person. I know. In Raft City. I know. <laughs> oh. That's where we. Little dimpled smiles. Oh, oh those little dimpled children. The robins. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, yep. That's you guys why. saved some lives tonight. Yeah, we did. Wow. Woo! Thank it's you. Good. It's why I didn't yeah. get the shway, because Lindy never read the Batmans. <laughs> <laughs> The Batsman. <laughs> the Batsman. Um, Batman. So I'm going to go ahead and reward you all. Get one experience points. Yay, Yay. Thank you. Your experience. Um, so yeah, you get that back. So you've made a, a pretty solid recovery there. Um, good <laughs> team play absolutely. on that. Um, giving out wow. XP like that. That Thanks was pretty for rad. Thanks rescuing my brothers with <laughs> me. Um, They're pretty rad. They're yeah, good game, really guys. So the whole, whole premise behind this game is watching a world of cyberpunk shatter underneath becoming a new genre of superhero. And tonight was the first step. You guys saved lives. Oh. And like, everyone knows. And everyone <laughs> yeah. freaking we were, saw it on live television. We were really bad at that whole secret thing. Didn't yeah. last long, did it? Yeah. Not a, even 24 no hours. Not really. even 24 hours. Wow. So we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and wrap out now, you guys. Um, yeah. We will see you next Friday night for another episode of Callisto Six. Thanks so much for joining us. And until then, stay whimsical. <laughs> <laughs>